Hi, uh, I had a quick look in the statutes and statutes article 10 uh, paragraph 2 says uh, the membership is granted if the council decides on it with two-third majority. The council shall give reasons for it, accepting or rejecting applications. As soon as the decision of the council is valid and the new member has paid its membership fee, it may exercise all its rights and is bound to all obligations of its membership. So there's two criteria. The decision of the council needs to be valid, and there might be a discussion of whether that happens when the decision is made or when the meeting ends. Uh, I don't think we have a praxis for that. And then this says it has to pay its membership fee. Um, and that is what the statute says. So for anyone wondering, that's uh, the rules we are bound by. Well, uh, okay. Uh, as the uh, statutes, uh, as the membership fees for 2020 have not yet been paid by other members, and we took the approach, uh, we wait for that uh, until November. I consider that to be fine. However, uh, I think we should have a straw poll on how this issue shall be resolved. Is it fine for you? Giving the uh, opportunity to, to uh, current uh, members to explain, uh, express their opinion by voting. So, is there anyone rising hand? Yeah, okay. Uh, I see hands from Marco. Marco, please. Yeah, uh, I would like to uh, remind uh, the council that uh, in November, when we had uh, the, um, the past uh, uh, council meeting, we voted to allow uh, members who didn't pay uh, their fee to uh, have a say in the council meeting. So I think that we could uh, use the same procedure now in uh, regards to this. Okay, David from Czech Party. Uh, I just wanted to support the point of view that MAP presented. Uh, I also think that the statutes are quite clear, but uh, the quickest way to solve this will probably be by vote right now. So if there are no objections to vote, let's just vote on it. If the Pirate Party of Slovakia has, can use its one vote now or not. I think it's, we are too much in detail right now. So voting is the quickest way. Okay, I see the hand raised from Bastian. Yes, that's uh, easy. Um, uh, before you have to pay your fees, you uh, have to get an invoice, otherwise uh, the financial um, obligations are not uh, due. And so it's easy. Uh, in the Slovakian can't receive an invoice, so they are uh, um, uh, uh, they, can, they are legal to vote there. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so as I see no recent hands, there were several proposals for vote. So I suggest we do a voting whether we consider part parties of Slovakia to be entitled to vote uh, concerning the res uh, respective situation of membership fees paid. So if no one objects, uh, let's have a vote on that. Uh, I will start reading the list of members. So the first one is Czech Republic. Uh, and the six votes against uh, Pirate Party of Slovakia voting now. Against, okay. Uh, Pirate Party of France. France abstain. Part Party of Germany. In favor. Part Party of Iceland. Maybe um, I'm missing Part Part of Iceland. If you can come back to the Part Party of Iceland, thank you. Okay. 
part, part of Italy. In favor. Yes, one vote. Part, part of ne Netherlands. In favor. Part, part of Norway. Against. Part, part of Catalonia. In favor. Part, part of Sweden. Abstain. Members of the European Parliament. Abstain. I need someone to help me with, with counting. Iceland. Yeah, sorry, Iceland. Abstain with three votes. I'm very much relying on you, Alessandro, to, to uh, count the votes now because I don't I see am. the record. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry for the inconvenience because I have all, all the time to switch between the records and the Jitsi and the Mattermost, so it's a bit complicated to follow all the all the stuff. So I'm deeply sorry if anyone was uh, was uh, not allowed to speak uh, as as fast as uh, it was supposed to be. So, Chair, can you see the result of, of this? Uh... Uh, vote uh, in the minute or I should read it yes I see five votes in favor six votes abstaining and seven votes against which means that currently the Pirate party of Slovakia is not entitled to vote in the council I'm sorry for that okay, okay. then we have to go to to the next point which is the board member election? We have uh, so far. If, uh, so far, I know we have received one single nomination. Oh, there are two of them. Uh, one of them was sponsored by Pirate Party of Norway, which is uh, sponsoring Sven Morgdal. The second was sponsored by Pirate Party of Germany, and it's Michael Sinclair. So. I'm asking the members whether there is anyone willing to sponsor any more uh, nominations to the board. Okay, I see hand risen from David of Czech Pirate Party. Uh, I would like to nominate our member Jan Maresh for the board. Okay. Please, Alessandro, could you record it to Wikipedia? I see Hans Risen from uh, Raymond from Pirate Party of Norway. Stage is yours. Uh, can I speak? Yep. Okay, thank you. Um, I am uh, from the Pirate Party of Norway. Uh, I wanted to, we, we nominated Sven Mortal, um, and I would like everybody who wants to, to vote yeah, yes. Uh, 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 many of you may have heard me say before, uh, the Pirate Movement lacks professionality at times, and okay. sometimes, we, sometimes we arrive two hours off things uh, are supposed to happen. So okay. Norton is a business professional uh, with an excellent uh, well, sense of economy and how to run things. Um, he would be an, uh, an incredible plus for uh, the Pirate Party of the EU. Thank you. Thank you very much for the introduction of the candidate. Uh, I would like to give the opportunity to present to the second candidate, which is uh, Michael Sinclair from Pirate Party of Germany. Oh, it's me. Okay. Yeah, I've, I was. I, I 
tried to get a seat last year in Myland and just missed it by one a couple of votes the last seat. So I was always been very interested in PPU things. I've been around since two election programs, worked on the program all the time. So I have a very, very Please unmute yourself. We can't hear you. So, yes. Sorry, sorry. It, it was it was me. Sorry, I made a mistake. So sorry, um, Michael. Okay. Could try again. Yeah, I have a, a deep uh, historical insight to PPU. I've been here since two elections and worked on all the programs, and uh, two fourteen, two eighteen, and uh, yeah, I, I was last year. I tried to get a seat in the PPO board, but just missed it by I think one or two votes, <laughs> and it was a very close call. And uh, my interest is is very high, and I've always tried to help. I'm, not, I'm I don't really mind not being on the board. I'm always here anyway to help and and try my best to move forward with PPU. Um, so, and I do sort of, uh, my employment is in logistics, so um, I'm very good at um, logistical um, problems to solve, <laughs> but not too much in a digital way, which is uh, a little disadvantage for me, because I'm not like the classic IT, I'm more uh, analog logistics. <laughs> okay, that's that was for me. Uh, this is Linda from Norway. If I may, um, the sound during the last presentation um, was really bad, uh, and I actually ha have a greeting from Sven, so if I could read that. Yes? No? Uh, yes, you can push it. Please do. Thank you. Um, Sven um, is currently the chair of the Pirate Party of Norway. Uh, he's also an alternate board member for Pirate Parties International. Uh, he's a lawyer and he's uh, an altruist who is deeply involved in refugee issues and also uh, the rights, human rights issues. Um, and he has a global perspective on the politics of the Pirate Party movement and has a clear vision of how he wants to contribute to moving specific issues forward, especially regarding digital safety. Uh, so he sends his greetings to the Pirate Party EU um, Assembly. Uh, thank you for your time. Hey, uh, thank you very much for the introduction of uh, Sven. I would like to give the opportunity to the last candidate uh, to be presented. So, is he present? Uh, oh. No. Yeah, uh, Jan couldn't be here today. I would like to present him in just a few sentences. Uh, basically, first, the reason we nominate this candidate is that uh, yeah, sorry, there's some lag probably. Uh, the reason we are nominating this candidate is uh, from our side that he was number four in our inter primaries from the board. At the same time, uh, Jan is historian, interested in international coordination of pirates, already working as a coordinator for German speaking countries. And at the same time, he's working as historian and doesn't hold any elected office. I think that uh, it would be very interesting to have a delegate from Czech Republic who is not a member of any parliament to just uh, also present the more activist side of the party. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to ask, are there any more nominations for the board? It does not seem that way, so I officially close the list of nominations, and we would we should start the vote. So, Alessandro, please get ready. Uh, we will start uh, the approval vote with the candidates in the order they were nominated. Hand. I'm sorry, EA. 
No, I have a hand raised. Okay, please speak. Thank you. Um, I, uh, I, I don't see the third nomination in the pad with the minutes, and I don't see like the name of the person in the list of nominated members of the board. I think the people that are voting need a little bit of time just to um, get their head around the new nomination. Um, Alessandro is alone dealing with the minutes and the counting and the wiki. He needs assistance for this to happen faster so all of the people that are attending the meeting get the information properly. So can you... Um, can you chair just uh, give us yep. a few seconds uh, and give Alessandro a few seconds to get this into the minutes, please? Okay, two things. Uh, let's have a five minute break for uh, updating the data on our wiki, plus uh, pre uh, getting the information. And would there be a volunteer within the council members or even uh, among the other people uh, who would be interested in helping us with taking notes, we would gladly appreciate it. So five minutes break until a uh, quarter past two. Just a little thing. Uh, I, I miss the name of the nomination from Pirate Party of Czech Republic. It's Jan Maresh, and it will be uh, recorded to the wiki as soon as possible. Okay. Maybe it's wrong, but I, I, I just wrote something. That's the one, as it is correct, it, uh, correct, can be Googled. It's in CChat, I will also write it to the Mattermost. Okay, so done. Wiki is updated. I would also need some, some. Um, uh, in the meanwhile, I also will update the nominations for um, the code of con, uh, the code of contact. Con uh, sorry, the code of con, uh, the code of contact um, membership members. So uh, we have three nominations. So I will update also the wiki. Thank you. I'm ready.
Uh, so now minutes uh, is updated and um, uh, we have all the tables ready to cast all votes and, and also the names in our wiki and in the minutes. I apologize for this late. I see Octavia raising her hand. Uh, yes, thank you, Chair. I just uh, wanted to reiterate my point from before that um, there are some council members that have more than one vote, and particularly now, it's important that delegates uh, state how many votes they give for what candidate. So the minute taker and there also have an opportunity to register the vote incorrectly. So I don't know, Chair, if you would like to to just walk through the voting or 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 emphasize this point, but I um I wanted it to at least I wanted to reiterate that point. Well for the sake of simplicity, I'm pretty fine uh if the uh, delegate just announced uh, to be in favor or against and implicitly assume that uh, it's using the full number of votes unless it's stated otherwise because the minute taker has actually the numbers of uh, votes for each respective uh, member uh, in the table already so for the minute takers it's, uh, it's not necessarily needed. Yay. Yay. Um, uh, it's um, approval voting. Therefore, you have only yes votes. Yes, this time well, uh, abstain and no are equivalent. Uh, yes, you have only uh, you have only yes votes and fifty percent and more. And uh, for each uh, candidate, you have one vote. So that is, is um, that's everything the same with uh, approval voting. Yes, but uh, you need to announce your presence uh, in order to uh, make the quorum higher. The, the number we are uh, calculating 50% of. Because like if you if you leave the, the room uh, and do not are not present, then you actually make it uh, simple, more simple to uh, for the person to get elected. We understand each other. Okay. I believe we are clear about the procedure. Is there anyone who wants to speak about the procedure more? I see no hands risen. No one objecting in the matter most. So let's the, st the vote start. And to candidate number one, uh, who was first nominated, as far as I know, was Sven Mork Dahl. No, no. The first one was Michael Sinclair. The first one of Michael Sinclair. Okay, so let's start with Michael Sinclair. So, Czech Republic. Six votes abstain. France. No. Okay, no votes. So, I mean, abstain. Uh, Germany. Two votes. Iceland. Three votes of Spain. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands.
Is there a delegate from the party of Netherlands voting somewhere? Yes. yes. Okay. Norway. Abstain. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden. One vote abstain. Members of European Parliament. Abstain. And we have uh, some hands raised. Thanks for reminding. I have hands raised from Katla and Etienne. So Katla, please speak your mind. I think I'm going to say the same as Etienne. Hans, uh, he says in the chat that he said no. So, but I'm not sure if his speaker, if his mic is working uh, at the moment. I just want to make sure that uh, that vote would be changed if that is the will of France. Etienne, please speak. Yes, I, I think there is a, a misunderstood when I cast my vote, but I said no. Okay, then I deeply apologize for, for mismatching that. Please correct it. Okay, so we will go to a second candidate who is Van Morkdal. I would point like. Of order. Sorry? Sorry, Gregory, please speak. It's a, as a point of order, we said this is approval voting. In approval voting, there are no, no votes, there's just yes votes. And you said a, a, abstains for the people who like do not vote yes for that candidate but there are no no votes there's no defined in approval voting so if there is no no cast abstain okay so i hope this this was uh, uh the issue was solved and we can go to the second candidate Hope no one is objecting. No one is objecting. Okay, so Czech Republic. Same. Six votes. France. Abstain. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. I'm sorry, you, you, you uh, I lost you for a minute. We are voting for, we are, vote, we are talking about Sven now, no? We are talking about Sven, exactly. Yeah, 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 three votes for Sven from Iceland. Okay, Italy? Yes. Netherlands? I see no vote casted from Netherlands. Yes. yes. Okay, it's in Jitsi uh, chat written yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden. One vote in favor. Mm -hmm. MEPs. All, right. All votes in favor. MEPs two votes abstain. Okay. I see no hands risen. Everyone seems to be fine. So I think we can go directly to the third candidate, which is Jan Maresh. So Czech Republic. Six votes in favor. France. Yes. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Can you come back to Iceland? Okay. Italy. Yes. Sorry, I didn't I didn't get the vote from Iceland. Sorry. There was a request for postponing of the vote. 
So Thank we you. will come back at the end. Netherlands, Netherlands, sorry. Not, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, Chair. So Italy? Yes, yeah, sorry, Italy, yep. No, Netherlands. For Jan Marish. I see in Jitsi chat, yes. Norway. Abstain. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden. Abstain. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes, abstain. I see. Okay, uh, let's have two minutes for calculation of the results. Iceland. Chair. Iceland. You, Iceland. Uh, you sorry, sorry, Iceland. sorry, 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 sorry. The Iceland. Abstain, three votes. Sorry. Sorry, can you repeat your, your vote, Iceland? Abstain, three. Thank, thank you. Okay, two minutes for calculation, yeah. Alessandro, do we have the results? I see. Okay. Uh, okay, so the results are following. Michael Sinclair, three votes. Sven Morkdal, seven votes. Jan Maresh, nine votes. As there are 19 votes in total uh, represent, uh, of the represented council members, none of the candidates received majority of the votes. Following Article 17, Paragraph 5 of the statutes, uh, as no candidate gained more than 50% in the first round voting, second round will be run between the two highest scoring candidates, which are Jan Maresh and Sven Mork Dahl. So we will have the second round. I see no objections. So we can, yep. For, to, to, for the procedure to be clear, the candidate who now received the most votes will be elected. So... Uh, Let 
just giving a little bit of time to minute takers to prepare their table. Yes, so just a while, please. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, great. So we'll start uh, with a uh, vote on Sven Morgdahl. So, Czech Republic. Six votes abstain. France. Yes. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Three votes, yes. Italy. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Following the Jitsi chat. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Abstain. Members of the European Parliament. Abstain to vote. Mm -hmm. No hands risen, no one objecting. So we will go to the second vote, which is vote on Jan Maresh, Czech Republic. Six votes in favor. France. Abstain. Germany. In favor. Iceland. Abstain. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands. There is yes in the Jitsi chat. Norway. Abstain. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden. I can't hear Sweden. I can't see. Is there a place where Sweden votes? Abstain. Sweden abstains. Members of the European Parliament. Uh, sorry, abs abstain to vote. I see. Okay, I guess there are no more uh, Sweden replied there is a confusion about which one of us should vote. I hope it is it is resolved and Sweden casted its vote properly so abstain for both candidates yes. Yeah, I see it in Mattermost, uh, in Jitsi chat that uh, MAP is confirming 
uh, that Sweden casted its vote properly. Okay, uh, I would like to uh, c uh, calculate the results. So, uh -huh. May I ask once again, what was the vote of Sweden for both candidates? It was abstain and abstain. It's abstain and abstain. Which means we have a tie between both candidates because both of the candidates received nine votes. No, Chair, because no, if Sweden correct the vote for the first, can I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, this, if I now correctly understood, it's uh, eight to nine if Sweden both abstain. Okay, then. Ah, yeah, you are right. So it's eight to nine. So I'm sorry for that. So which means that the candidate with most of the votes is uh, Jan Maras from Pirate Party of Czechia. Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you. And uh, I will make sure that he will be able to start working with you all as soon as possible. And I hope That's it's great. a benefit to the party. That's great. Uh, now I have a question. Uh, as far as I know, we have received no nominations for Code of Conduct Council. Is this true? No, it is false. I'm sorry, but, but I, I had no uh, time to update the wiki or not the minute, but we have actually three nominations. Uh, two uh. nominations for the Pirate Party of Norway and one nomination for the Pirate Party of Italy. Uh, um, so the two nominations are William and Linda from Pirate Party of Norway and Marco from Pirate Party of Italy. I see. Okay, uh, so I would like to, uh, to give, let's say, 10 minutes break uh, for giving, uh, or like 10 minutes to the, the minute takers. We can have a discussion all the time for uh, you to update the wiki so that everyone can find the names. Uh, meanwhile, I see a right hand uh, raised from a map. Please speak. Yes, thank you. If I understand the statutes correctly, it says, sorry, I have a baby near me. Uh, the second round, only those candidates, yada, yada. The candidates who gain more than 50% of those cost in order of the highest result to the lowest are elected in the second round until all positions are filled. So it still has a 50% requirement. Was that met for the candidate who got elected? Uh, I got you. Uh, if I correct me, Mab, if I am wrong, but you, you mean that, that uh, so even in the second round, nobody reached the 50% of the world votes, or, or am I wrong? So I don't know if anyone reached 50%. I only know that it's a requirement to reach 50%. And if it was nine votes in favor in the second round, and there was a total of 19 votes as it was in the first round, that requirement should not have been filled. But I don't know if there was 19 votes in the second round, because I haven't, don't have access to the numbers in front of me. The numbers are correct. Nine votes uh, over 19. Nine votes over 19. Oh, I see. Okay. Then the, then the uh, interpretation is probably relevant. Correct me if I'm wrong, because that would mean that actually the candidate was not elected. Um. As I understand, Alessandro, uh, in the second round, the majority of votes uh, counts. Well, uh, I'm just going to jump in. Yeah. The statute says the candidates who gain more than 50% votes cast in order of the highest results to the lowest are elected in the second round. So 
the statutes are quite clear that you need 50% in the second round to get voted, elected. Uh, yes, nine and eight votes is 17 votes, and nine is over 50% of the votes, so it's valid. It's not a problem. Would have have to been 18 votes, uh, and then it would be 50-50, but it was only 17 votes. Eight plus nine is 17, and not 18. So the nine, the nine votes were over the fifty percent. Yes, if there were only seventeen votes cast, um, he, the person is elected. I assume there were nineteen votes, uh, as it was in the first round. But if people dropped out and didn't abstain but left the meeting, no, sorry, sorry, ma'am, so, sorry. Correct. Just to be clear, uh, we have a, a total of nineteen votes casted both in the first and in the second round. Cast the vote means that the vote is expressed. Am I right? Yes. Only, so so uh, that means that, of course, of course, if you, if, you, if you have the majority, nine and eight are the yes vote, not the total vote. I mean, total vote, ca, ca, total vote are uh, in 19 and are all cast in the first and in the second round. But only eight votes are yes for Svein, and nine votes are yes for Jan in the second round. That's the uh, yes, numbers. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Exactly, to, only yes uh, votes count. To, to, to break your discussion, uh, I think Katla is raising her hand. I will, I, I will raise my hand again later when this uh, topic has been uh, finished. Okay. Oh, yay. So, is there anyone rising? Hand? Yeah, Bastian, please do. Yeah, uh, map is correct. Uh, it's not uh, enough votes. Uh, nine are not more than 50%. You have to go in a second, a uh, third route. Of course, uh, let's open the candidate lists again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Linda is uh, raising her hand. I don't know if this is possible, but uh, Nora would like to concede victory to the other candidate. Linda, please speak close to the microphone because we can't hear you. I'm still wrong. Hmm. Okay. Um, how about now? Just try, please. Okay. Now, um, I don't know if this is possible according to Robert's rule of order, but Norway would like to concede victory to the other candidate. Well, it's probably not possible. Okay, then we can't resolve it that way. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, the only way how to, uh, which I see from from now to uh, repeat the vote, is to reopen the agenda and update it with uh, and an, 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 another. Uh, election of the board because otherwise uh, I see no institutes no no mentions of third round of the vote for that case. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bastian. You're wrong. Sorry, I'm not Bastian. The statutes under seven says the council. Let's see. The council may decide on additional rounds of voting and admission of new candidates if a position could not be filled. So we don't have an automatic third round, but we can agree to have a third round. From the material point of view, it's what I see. So the council has to approve that we uh, ha will have the another another vote. So I think there is. Uh, should we have another vote? Uh, someone of the council members has to propose it. Proposed. Okay, I see from Raymond uh, from part part of Norway that another round is proposed
my understanding of this paragraph of the statutes will be that, uh, or is that uh, we should uh, repeat the procedure from the first uh, first round, which means, uh, or uh, we are going back to the to the beginning, and I would like to ask you all for, uh, yeah, is there anyone objecting that procedure? Yeah, I see Bastian rising hand. Yeah, maybe the, we have the problem because we have two candidates who are not present there, and uh, I think we shouldn't uh, elect candidates uh, uh, who are not present. Uh, have not the time to be here. It's an important um, job to be on the board, and she should they should present themselves, maybe with a video or whatever. But uh, to be presented by another guy, it's not the right way. Uh, so we can do do that in an emergency. Uh, procedure, but uh, we have a lot of uh, people uh, attending the meeting. Maybe we can go in an, another uh, round for candidates. And we, can, we can postpone that uh, point uh, for a moment, and uh, we can go uh, further in the, in, this, in the minute uh, or in the agenda, uh, sorry. And then we can go back to the election for the board meet, uh, member again. Thank you. OK. Uh... I see uh, Linda's hand risen. Yes, I would just like to point out that we were notified of this meeting last night. Um, so we haven't really had a whole lot of time to clear people's schedules. Okay. Well, so there were uh, two proposals for the procedure. Uh, yeah, I see. I see Alexandra's hand raised. Also, Raymond. Raymond lowered, raised. Okay, Raymond, please. Uh, okay, so uh, we have a formal proposal from me that we do the repeat. Then we have, I think it was Bastian uh, that opposed that. Uh, does not that not mean we have to vote on that too, uh, or or what do we do? Well, there are two formal pro, uh, proposals, so uh, we would have to. Uh, we should do the procedural voting. Uh, how to resolve it? Seconded. Okay, I consider the two, uh, uh, or maybe yeah. First, uh, Bastian, could you please clarify for which time you would prefer to postpone the vote? Well, it, dep <laughs> it be depends on on, on, the, on the meeting. Uh, we have to to uh, discuss that uh, co code of conduct again, and uh, we have the elections for the code of conduct. I think that's uh, enough time. And meanwhile, to get, uh, get, get some ideas for new candidates or something like that, and uh, then we should uh, postpone that uh, election of the, this board member after the election of the court conduct after a short coffee break uh okay uh may i have a proposal concerning the time for my uh, for the procedures for mice because we are really lacking the time so uh i would i would um uh, ask you would we have uh, let's say an agreement on the procedure that we could like postpone it after the code of conduct elections or do we lose another 10 minutes by voting of the, on the procedure it's it's for you and uh, raymond and bastian uh, whether we could like agree on the procedure well uh, there's no counter proposal for that so it's uh, adopted Is it fine for you, Raymond, if we start the vote on uh, on the last board member after the uh, Code of Conduct Council election? Of course. I'll proceed if you want. Yes. Okay. So I would like to proceed to the Code of Conduct uh, Council election. Do we have uh, updated wiki already? It's not the case. Not the case. I'm sorry. I, I have to manage a lot of things. That's understandable. Uh, can we have? 
because because actually we have now sorry Bastian, we have now another candidate from pirate party of, of iceland so we have four candidates yeah if, if you show me where the candidates are uh, then i can uh, um uh, can make it in the wiki very easily and quickly i'm doing it and i am updating it i'm just trying to find the place in which all the nominations and candidates are available uh, I'm mm -hmm. trying to look at the pad for that, but I am updating it. Okay. Uh, well, the situation is uh, we have scheduled for 15 o'clock some uh, guests' uh, presentation, and the guests are expecting that. So uh, would we like do the vote now? We would probably leave them for waiting, which I think it's quite like impolite. Maybe the idea would be to uh, postpone the vote after the guest's uh, uh, presentation and meanwhile update the wiki. Would it be fine for you? Alessandro is rising hand. Uh, yes, because we only have um, uh, four candidates. Um, can we use these 10 minutes just to let them present to the council and then uh, have our guest session and then vote? Because the most longest time is voting. Okay, I do agree. If there is no one objecting, of course. Um, <clears throat> your short, uh, the candidate list is open already. Yes, the candidates lists are open. Okay, because uh, we have uh, proposed um, Michael Sinclair and uh, Sebastian Krone. I hope you have uh, recognized this. Uh, is there anyone able to provide me the list of candidates that are currently being proposed? So it's Michael Sinclair about, and Bastian Krone from Pirate Party of Germany. Who's, le who's next? Uh, next are Linda and William, but I, I, I apologize, I forgot uh, uh, your full name from Pirate Party of Norway. They are just writing a, a, uh, the names in, into the GC chat. And um, Marco Confalonieri from Italy and Octavia just posted also the nominations, uh, nomination link uh, in our wiki so you can have the full list there and mm -hmm. William already provided in his full name and and Linda uh, I can retrieve and, and Linda also so mm -hmm. now we are all set sorry for this inconvenience okay uh, so I think it's the, the stage is open for candidates to to present yourself uh, let's say within two minutes each of each of the candidates. So I think the first candidate was William. Oh, yay. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, my name is William. I am from a pirate party of Norway. Um, I think I, I would be a healthy addition to the code of conduct council. Uh, I'm probably one of the youngest people here. I'm 19, so I would bring some fresh blood into the mix. Uh, and I'm also a history student, so I have also that. Conf I heard that was something a plus when we were doing uh, voting, so I'm just pushing that too. Uh, other than that, uh, it's not much. I, uh, I'm always timely, always coming to the correct time to each meeting. And I like to have everything structured and easy. So that's all for me. I don't know what else to say. And I'll let the next candidate speak for themselves. OK. Thank you for the introduction. I believe Linda was the next one uh, nominated. Thank you, um, Chair. Um, my name is Linda Rawlings. No, it's actually not Rawlings anymore. I'm divorced. It's Ted Club. Uh, I'm the vice chair of the Pirate Party of Norway. 
Um, and I'm sort of a stickler for rules. I'm the kind of person who just likes to make sure that everything happens correctly, the way it's supposed to, and that everybody treats each other with dignity. Um, diplomacy is sort of the art of making sure everybody's heard in a way that lets everybody move forward uh, so that the focus should be on resolving any issues, not necessarily declaring a winner. Uh, I'm a social worker with a master's degree, and I've been working with people for the last 23 years. Um, when I heard about the code of conduct at the joint council meeting with PPI and PPEU, I thought it was a, a spectacular idea, and it intrigues me enough that I would like to participate. Thank you. Thank you very much for the introduction. I believe the next one uh, nominated was Marco. Yeah, so um, I can admit that uh, in the beginning of this meeting, it was not my intention to put forward my uh, nomination because, uh, well, I think that uh, uh, there are um, many uh, categories of people that uh, uh, are, mm, which are, well, let's say that needs to be represented in such a council. However, um, I sort of, when I witnessed the sort of incident that happened before, uh, I saw something that uh, uh, it was a sort of deja vu from what I already saw happening in uh, Parapartis International. And that is that uh, sometimes uh, the... Um, use of the language that we do uh, does not have the same meaning for everyone. Uh, what I mean is that, yeah, I have a, a, techno a technology background, uh, not a, a human uh, uh, sciences background, but uh, uh, as someone who moved from uh, one country to another, from Italy to Sweden, I could witness how uh, we sort of take it granted that we use the English language all in the same time, all in the same way, but this is not true. Uh, actually, what I notice is that uh, uh, different countries have a different base education level of English. We as a PPU, I think that no one of us is a native English speaking speaker. For all of us, or almost all of us is a second language. And we have to take that into account and uh, uh, to work to uh, try to not, uh, 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 how can I say, uh, to avoid to give uh, uh, a meaning based on our interpretation because everyone can see that even how we build uh, sentences in this language follows a bit what happened in our native language. Of, uh, so I think that uh, this is some uh, point that is uh, often uh, overlooked at, but uh, that could be a, a good point in, uh, in uh, an organ such as the Council for the Code of Conduct, uh, that we need to take into consideration that our use of, uh, the, of the language uh, can have a different meaning, not only a different level. Yeah, I'm finished with my presentation. That will be sort of my main focus. If there are questions. Okay, thank you for the introduction, uh, Marco. And uh, I guess the next one who uh, was nominated was Michael Sinclair. Stage is yours. Oh, it's me again. Hello. Um, yes, I, I have like um, I'm commissioned in Germany for migration on asylum as a, is my thematic and I have lots of uh, NGOs who do discrimination and racism and inclusion and I mean lots of mailing lists with lots of experts and uh, it's always been a very interesting uh, team for me so over the years I've got quite a lot of experience in this field I'm also a disabled person 
and in my workplace I represented all disabled people so I do have in this field um, a lot of experience um, how to sort out or if there are anything discriminating about things and I have a lot of experts to ask if we can't solve it ourselves so <laughs> and I am a native speaker as well so that's quite an advantage um, yeah and as I said I would help uh, the European pirates in any way I can um, and I'm always here anyway and I was always if I'm not I got a seat or I, I don't really care if I have a seat or not I'm gonna help anyway so that's all my that's my view on things here and I'm not going away because I don't have a seat <laughs> I'll always support you anyway okay thank you very much Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. And I believe the next one on the, uh, uh, of the nominated was uh, Sebastian. Uh, Bastian, so stage is yours. Stage is mine, yeah. Um, hello again. Um, I've been accompanying the PPU since the start of the founding process in 12, uh, tw um, uh, 12, uh, 2012. It's uh, about eight years ago. And I've been responsible for the IT since 2013 until now. It's a long time. And um, I'm not on the board since um, um, Reykjavik. And uh, I uh, saw, unfortunately, there's a lack of work. Uh, um, we should uh, 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 such kind of driving force against us uh, we had in uh, 2017. So um, it's Maybe it's uh, my duty to, to fulfill this job. And uh, if you want to have a, a driving force uh, to go forward with the PPU with movement, you can elect me. Uh, I think it's uh, very good that we have now candidates who are um, attending the meeting, so you can see uh, what's going on. And I, for the for the last moment, I show you my picture. Hi. Yeah. So I am. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Pastan, for the introduction. And I think the last nominated candidate was Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland. Um, hi, uh, yeah, my name is Unar. I'm uh, from the Pirate Party of Iceland. Um, I'm sorry if I, if you you can't understand me. I'm <laughs> sick at home, <laughs> but yeah, I've been affiliated with uh, the Icelandic Pirates from from uh, the year 2015, and um, I've been in in uh, uh, boards uh, of of the Pirates in Reykjavik uh, two times uh, consecutive, uh, 2017 and 18, and and uh, the last I was uh, on on the board of of Framkantarald. It's like uh, yeah, yeah, we, we like like to complicate things. <laughs> so, but yeah, I I have I have a good good. Uh, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, I have a good good. Yeah, executive council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that threw me off that uh, that I didn't remember it. But code of co contact councils have been in place in Iceland for for some time, and uh, uh, I've gotten a chance uh, to view and and. Uh, participate in in their work uh, through the executive council um, I see myself as, as being really good in communications and and resolving conflicts and and uh, like someone said here before that uh, code of contact council doesn't uh, mean that you're finding a winner or loser you just need to get the conversation starting to be between the persons and I think I would be a really good add to that council thank you Okay, uh, I believe we have, uh, uh, thank you for the nomination, uh, for, for the presentation, and I, I believe we have now uh, some time, or we need some time for uh, minute takers to be prepared for the vote, so please, uh, please prepare that. And meanwhile, uh, there are a couple of guests 
who would like to uh, speak uh, to the council uh, on this occasion. I think uh, I can introduce them uh, immediately. The first one uh, would be Mr. Uh, Leonardo Reis, a representative from the party Juntos Pelo uh, from Portugal, from Madeira. So, if you can speak, please, stage is yours. Yay. Okay, there is a need for conference code. Okay, this is a little bit complicating. I mean, do you need some help, uh, Chair? I think I've provided the proper proper uh, code, so I think this should happen. We're looking forward to to see whether it works, and we will have our first non-pirate participant in the council meeting. So I'm getting lost. Who is going to speak? We have a friend, a guest, Mr. Leonardo Reis, who is representative of party Juntos Pelo Povo, uh, which is Portugal party, uh, active in Madeira, and who would like to speak uh, to the to the council. if we overcome the technical difficulties. Uh, uh, I, I didn't get if he's here or not. Because I think they have it, some, it some uh, problems to connect to the Jitsi meeting, but I don't know what is the problem. Because because you can you can address me and and then because if it's not here uh, I, I think that um, oh sorry I will because maybe if it, if it, yeah yeah I think it's fine if you I see no requests for for help so. Okay. Because I, know, I was just asking, because if it's not here, I think that, uh, uh, do you remember we invited uh, Patrick for uh, his little report, five minutes report, he can maybe just go ahead, just my suggestion. I would love to if Patrick is present, but I don't see him. He, he is, actually. Okay. He's there. Okay, then stage is yours. Thanks, Mikodash. Hi, everybody. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak to you for a couple of minutes this lovely weekend. Um, I wanted to give you an update on the um, terrorist content online negotiations that are going on at the European level at this time, because it is Hello. one of the few um, legislative work that we are doing so far. The new commission hasn't really proposed many legislation, but this is something that the old commission uh, proposed. And it's, it's called a regulation to prevent terrorist content online. And you can already tell by the name, preventing content online doesn't sound good. 
and it also um, the content actually proposes to um, use upload filters and also to use very fast cross-border removal orders to have terrorist content removed. What is terrorist content? There is a definition in the regulation. However, I think it can be applied very differently across Europe. Uh, Spain would probably consider uh, um, um, Catalan independence uh, terrorist content. Um, France has in the past sometimes considered social uh, protests against um, pension reforms as um, terrorist. Um, Hungary has uh, called environmental protests as eco-terrorists. So that can be potentially very far-reaching. And um, they want to compel um, hosting service providers, uh, including social networks, uh, to use um, upload filters to prevent such content. Um, the great danger here is that, again, um, the filter can't tell whether a video or an image um, is meant to propagate terrorism or is maybe used quite to the contrary to criticize terrorists or for press reporting on terrorism. You can uh, show terrorist attacks with different intentions and no filter can understand that even if an image or a video is identical. And furthermore, when it comes to these cross-border removals, the proposal is that every hosting service provider within um, Europe and beyond uh, should remove content upon uh, within one hour of being ordered to do so. And the order can be uh, made by any EU member state designated authority, which means that um, the Hungarian government, for example, could order um, the deletion of stuff in your country. And it also means that very small hosters or nonprofit organizations would have to react within one hour. And if they repeatedly don't do so, they would face fines. So there is a danger that small businesses and nonprofit hosters can't even make the one hour. And there is also a danger that uh, removal will be requested by governments that have a very different idea of what is illegal and what is terrorist content than your own country uh, may have. And therefore, uh, the European Parliament is, is trying to push back on those plans. Um, I have taken over this dossier since the middle of last year. And unfortunately, um, the majority in the European Parliament really wants this regulation because they want to do something about terrorist content online. They say that um, it, uh, it supports radicalization and that more has to be done, it has to be removed sooner and faster, etc. And so they are willing to, to sort of give more and more in order to agree with the governments that want this very far-reaching regulation. So the parliament originally opposed both upload filters and these very fast, ultra-fast removal orders. Uh, however, when it comes to um, Upload filters, the wording is a danger because they use very vague wording that doesn't expressly allow or exclude upload filters, which is a danger because the courts can interpret it to include upload filters. And also when it comes to these fast removal orders, Parliament is willing uh, to compromise um, on, on this after or originally opposing it, which means that, um, yes, as I said, um, governments such as Hungary, Poland, etc., uh, could really request the removal of politically uncomfortable uh, content to them in other EU countries. And you would have to contest it in their own courts, in Hungarian courts, etc., which is very dangerous. And therefore, uh, this regulation is a danger for the freedom of the press, for freedom of expression, uh, freedom of the arts, freedom of the sciences all of these contents could be affected. So what, what are we doing about it? Uh, I've been talking to, to, to governments about it, but of course, uh, what we also need is, is public pressure. There are some NGOs that are writing letters and draw, drafting um, um, declarations on it, 
but there is not really a public awareness quite differently from what we had with the copyright reform there isn't really a public pressure um, on this dossier um, uh, fortunately, the um, Swedish pirates have set up a nice website with information about this. The German Pirate Party also has a website with information about the terrorist content online uh, regulation, the proposal. But it would be good if uh, more of you uh, would do this. Um, inform about these plans. Um, you can of course invite both Marcel or, or myself or any of the other uh, maps to um, a webinar to explain what the problems are and most of all it would be useful if you can contact your governments to um, ask them what are what is their view on this are they on our side uh, are they opposing actively opposing upload filters unfortunately there are quite a lot of governments that are not really taking any position that simply say we don't care and that is quite harmful because those governments should be on our side and, and fighting for us. And therefore, um, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm happy to tell you what your government's position is. And it would be great to do some lobbying or some other way of, of pressuring uh, your government. I will post in, in the chat um, uh, just now a link to a to my website which has english information about the state of play and also about what you can do and how you can get in touch uh, probably mikolas has already invited you that um, the pirate delegation in the european parliament has set up a, a channel uh, communications channel to help and support us and there is also a specific channel for dealing with terrorist content online so I would very much appreciate your support, since, as I said, there is a danger that this dossier can be closed quite fast before the summer break and not to our liking and not to the benefit of the internet. So it would be good and important to be involved. That's all for me now. Thank you very much for giving me the floor. Okay, are, are, uh, are there any questions on Patrick? Mm, that sounds pretty clear. So I will thank you, Patrick. It was uh, great to have you here, especially as we all know that you are quite busy because of uh, quite great uh, news from your f family and I have the pleasure to finally uh, invite to the stage our next guest who, uh, which is Mr. Leonardo Reis from uh, Portugal party Juntos Pelo Povo. I'm sorry if I pronounce it poorly. It's the stage is yours. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, hello. Um, I'm from Madeira. A uh, small island in the Atlantic. Uh, JPP, together for the people, the translation means, um, uh, was born uh, in 2009, but only uh, got to be a political party in 2015. We, at that year, in the same year, we elected five uh, deputies on the Madeiran uh, parliament. Um, we have now uh, five years, our political party. Um, uh, I don't know if uh, I should uh, talk about more the history of the political party. We've been in a few elections. Uh, we've started in Madeira Island, but we're now, uh, we have some elected in the mainland and the municipalities. Um, we are not a traditional political party. We try to connect the, more the people with the political party, with the political environment. Um, people, in, at least in Portugal, are not um, related to the 
political parties because they are um, they uh, they get sus suspicious because of all of the um, corruption news that they they hear. So people are not do not trust in political parties. So we're trying to stay away from lobbies, economical lobbies, and that gives us um, some kind of respect with the, the people. It's hard to, to work without the help of lobbies, but um, for us it's better that way. Um, uh, I'm not getting any feedback. Are you hearing? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay. okay. Um, um, I don't know um, what should I do. Uh, talk? Uh, can I can talk about the um, act, um, actual um, political um, the political actuality in Madeira, uh, where we, where I'm I'm living. In. I don't know if I, I should do that. Well, it very much depends on you, what you are uh, willing to talk about. Of course, you can have uh, also questions on our members, or maybe uh, our uh, members I'll, can I'll, have questions maybe, for you. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about um, what we are living now with the coronavirus. And, uh, uh, Malaysia is um, it, it, it's far, a little bit far from the uh, European continent and from the mainland, Portugal mainland. So um, we are uh, re being really affected by this uh, coronavirus uh, thing um, because um, we have a very few transports. We had um, the people that worked on the docks got uh, sick with coronavirus. And because of that, we got um, we had difficulties bringing um, uh, goods from the mainland to here. We consume 95% of what we consume is brought by sea. Uh, we're not um, self-sufficient, and that's a problem that our economy has, or always had. And the worst thing is that um, close to 30% of our uh, GPD, um, GPD, I think it's, uh, that, uh, um, is, um, comes from, um, tourism and as you can imagine now we, we don't have any kind of tourism and uh, the mainland is not um, helping us because all, the mainland is also very dependent from tourism um, and that keeps uh, that makes people even more um, Apart, uh, uh, getting uh, people are feeling that the government, the political parties are not doing what they should, and there's a um, there's starting to people are are starting to make uh, riots and small riots, small manifestations that they are not happy, especially here in in Madeira, and but also in the mainland. And if things continue this way, the economics uh, all blocked, all stopped, frozen. Mm, things are not going to be easy here in Madeira and or Portugal. That's it. I don't know if I should talk more about something else, if you have questions. I'll answer them gladly. I would have be uh, have one question. Maybe uh, is Madeira actually part of Schengen area, or are yes, you isolated? Yes, it place? Is. That is, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's interesting. Okay, I would maybe uh, give you uh, the opportunity to ask our members if you if you want, or like our members if they have any questions for you. And I, I really deeply deeply appreciate that you have uh, take the time and. Uh, come here to pirates to to speak with us and it's our pleasure known each other 
and it's our pleasure. We, we are trying to help the government now. We are full of work. And because I also I work, also work in, at the Madarin Parliament. Um, but this is a, uh, it's also always a pleasure to work with this group. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, the same kind of economy with Portugal, uh, the Canary Islands has with Spain. Autonomy? Do you have the same autonomy, or are you like really part of Portugal? Um, we have. Um, I've been lately studying Canary Island um, politics, and because they have um, a lot of good things uh, related to the mainland, to Spain, um, but they have more autonomy than us. We have a, a kind of, uh, a little bit of autonomy, but Canary has more autonomy. And that explains because Canary Island has 2 million people, more or less, and we have 250,000 people. There's a, uh, that, that that matters a bit, and they have a lot more uh, deputies on the mainland. Uh, Canary Islands elect um, much more deputies on the mainland, and those deputies have more power uh, in the mainland. Uh, in, and instead, here in Madeira, we only elect uh, four deputies uh, in 200 and something uh, deputies. That's almost nothing. So. We don't have a lot of power in the menu. Anyway, uh, thank you for being here. You're the first uh, guy from Madeira, Madeira I have ever met. Uh, <laughs> take care of yourself. And good luck with the COVID thing. Yeah, thank you. And uh, if you ever want to to visit Madeira, talk to me, and I'll show you around. <laughs> Uh, I used to live in Tenerife, so uh, oh, I, I kind of I kind of uh, love the climate. Twenty one degrees Celsius, twenty four, three hundred sixty five days around the world. You know. Yeah. Yesterday was twenty nine, and today will be something around it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, thank you once again for, for uh, taking the time and maybe I would introduce uh, introduce another guests who are interested in our meetings uh, which is Professor Hartmut Prasch, uh, Vice Chairman of Team Kärnten from Austria and Mr. Thomas Fien who is Club Director of the uh, respective party. So hello and status yours if you want to say something. Please unmute yourself because we can't hear you. Still, there is a problem to hear you. Not. Or am I the only one experiencing the problem with voice transmission? No, you are not the only one. We don't have that. I can't hear him either. No, we can't hear him. Maybe uh, uh, if we know if the browser you're using, you, we can address you, or you can use uh, some uh, GC app in your, in your tablet or in your uh, smartphone if you have. 
because actually somebody or you or you can try to reconnect uh, maybe it will help Yes, I saw in the chat chat that uh, maybe some uh, in the meanwhile uh, some somebody else can just speak. Okay, so obviously there is a technical problem we have not expected. So if it's fine, I would meanwhile uh, before we solve it, uh, give a stage to Mr. Laurent Fonel sorry if uh, pronouncing for, for poor, who is Secretary General of DEFI International from Belgium. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, which okay. is very nice. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't seem to work, but at least if you hear me, that's the most important. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, Laurent Fanuel speaking. I'm very happy to be with you this afternoon. I am the General Secretary of DEFI International, which is the international section of the Belgian party DEFI. Uh, uh, Défi uh, means, uh, it's a French word that means challenge in English, but if we split it, I would like to give you a small introduction of our party and what we are doing uh, in Belgium. Uh, so Défi uh, stands for Democrat, Federalist and Independent. No need to, to, to explain to you what, why we are Democrats. I mean, it's uh, obvious, but uh, we are Federalists as well, uh, both in Belgium and in the European Union. And we are independent in the sense that we are pluralist, uh, which means that we are free from the traditional pillars of society like the liberals, the socialists, the Christian Democrats, uh, and we are free as well from religious pillars, uh, between like Catholics or lays. I mean, we are really, everybody is welcome in our party and we don't have that kind of uh, uh, separation, I would say. Uh, we used to be called FDF before 2015 and uh, our party has been uh, uh, very busy with institutional battles in Belgium. Some of you may know this, uh, the country yeah, is split between two big communities, the Dutch speakers and the French speakers. And we have fought to uh, transform the country into a federal state. And we have fought as well in the past to make sure that the region of Brussels be recognized as a fully region of the country alongside the Flanders and Wallonia. Uh, we are mainly uh, present in the French-speaking areas of Belgium. So this is Wallonia in the south uh, and uh, Brussels. A little bit as well in the outskirts of Brussels, which are in the Flanders and where uh, many French speakers live. Uh, we basically, one, what is important to us is to defend the linguistic rights of those French speakers, but more generally speaking, we are willing basically to protect the rights of the minorities wherever they are. We, we are at the center of the political spectrum, I would say, so we promote, of course, uh, uh, private initiatives, but we like as well uh, some social protection for the poorest. Nobody is to be left aside, of course, and we want everybody to feel part of an inclusive society. In a few words, our uh, big uh, values, it's social liberalism, federalism, both for Belgium and for the European Union, sustainable development, good governments, state of law, uh, the rights of the minorities, and uh, we give a big priority to education and vocational training 
culture is as well important for us. On a European point of view, we promote the creation of a federal Europe uh, within the framework of the current institutions. But in the longer term, we are in favor as well of a European feder federation. Uh, I would like just to conclude my little uh, address here to tell you that Unfortunately, we have no uh, European Parliament members, but we and we are quite a small party in the sense that we have two members of Parliament in the Federal Assembly of Belgium. We have 10 MPs in the Brussels Parliament and three MPs in the French-speaking community of Belgium, where the deputies of Wallonia and uh, Brussels meet. Uh, we have, of course, as well, mayors in some uh, Brussels uh, parts and uh, members of local assemblies in Wallonia and in Belgium. So that was uh, basically my, my little introduction. Very happy to be here and to, to share with you this afternoon. Thank you very much. Wow, that was quite an exhaustive introduction and thank you very much for taking the time to, to be with us, to present your party because it's really important to, to know your neighbors. <laughs> I don't know, there is uh, obviously some, some hands risen. I see hands risen from Alexander from Pirate Party of Germany and then Alessandro uh, from uh, Pirate Party of Italy. Uh, yes, it was very impressive, and thank you to explain us uh, the program of the Pirate Party. Well, I guess we understood each other. Alessandro? Probably... Is no, sorry, sedan? Chair. I, I was no, no. Yeah, I was raising hand just uh, a couple of hours ago. It's fine for me. Thank you. That's great. Uh, well, like uh, maybe you have some questions for us, or is there something we can we can tell you? Hello. You see, you could. Now I can hear the person that tried to connect before. Well, that's great. That's great. And um, yeah. Uh, I have maybe a question from from uh, our side, which is kind of like natural. If there is any any policy uh, of you regarding, let's say, copyright, for example. Okay. We can. <laughs> Prof professor Prash, we can hear you. We can hear you, Professor. We can. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, well, I'm from uh, Austria, federal country of Carinthia, which is in the very south of uh, Austria, close to the borders to uh, Slovenia and uh, Italy. So we are in a, in a quite uh, interesting area uh, especially from the cultural points. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, we can hear you loud and clearly. Okay. Uh, our party was uh, founded in 2012 and uh, with uh, two elections on uh, the regional parliament, uh, we got uh, free seats in the regional parliament so far. Uh, our values, may I talk about this, are of course human rights, transparency, participation, truth and independence. And uh, we are specialized uh, on topics like uh, poverty, which turns out to be one of the big problems in, in our part, and uh, also 
or the the facts of uh, media power or press power, which makes it not easy uh, to stand for our uh, goals, uh, not being uh, in the in the main course of uh, newspapers and uh, TV. Uh, our guideline is, uh, let's say, economic liberal, and uh, uh, we try especially uh, focus on on this, uh, especially uh, uh, industry, tourism, uh, because we are close to the borders and uh, also quite close to the sea through Italy and uh, Slovenia. So, um, you still hear me? Okay. Yes, I'll talk yes, to you. Uh, poverty is uh, for, let's say, the last 10 years, uh, a great problem uh, for uh, the people in the rural areas. And uh, with uh, Corona, we have an even more problem with uh, uh, the people which are not on, on uh, not, have not the power and not the chance for work anymore because economy is going down and uh, especially uh, in, in the rural parts of uh, Austria, uh, we have no chance to give more jobs to the people, uh, which uh, causes a new poverty, because uh, these problems will stay for a longer time as the uh, economy is as you uh, obviously know, uh, shut down uh, because of the virus. Okay. That, that was great. Thank you very much for, for having time to, to, to uh, meet us. And uh, sorry for okay. the technical difficulties. It's always complicated to set up meeting like this one. Uh, I hope there is maybe a time for for our members to to raise questions for you, if or okay. you can ask we questions try. us. <laughs> I have a, I, I have a question. I don't know if I can. There was storm heard, but otherwise can you can you can definitely raise. Please Sorry. try again. Okay. Uh, um, how much are you dependent on? Um, how much are you self-sufficient on uh, on the goods that you consume, uh, food and clothes and all of that? Well, I I hardly understand you. How much are you self-sufficient on the goods that you consume, like food, uh, clothes? Well. Uh especially uh, the main goals are uh, with a, with a self-consciousness and uh, not depending on any other uh, influences, either uh, economic or uh, monetary. So we are independent. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay thank, thank you. Okay. There, if I may. Okay. There, there is a yes, question in the chat. Um, yes. So, hello, I'm Gregory Ingels, uh, Pirate Party Germany. Uh, we have a question in the chat. 
uh, about what is your views about migration? Well, uh, we are, we had through the last years, uh, a lot of migration uh, as, as any European state, uh, but at the moment, uh, the, the shutdown uh, of Austria is, keeps, keeps uh, uh, people staying outside, outside in the areas. And uh, at the moment, uh, we have no more uh, immigrants coming. But this can this can change immediately if uh, Corona uh, will be settled. I see Katla willing to speak. Yeah, hi, Katla from it... Icelandic Pirates. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. I thought it was a good, good question uh, about your views about migration, which I guess is more immigration uh, rather than my, yeah. So you didn't really say your views. Would you like be able to clarify? Well, uh, as uh, the whole of Austria is uh, uh, more or less 90% uh, rural areas, we have just two or three hotspots where immigrants come. This is Vienna, this is Graz, this is, uh, of course, Linz. But the rural areas uh, are not interesting for immigrants. So these uh, people uh, gather together in, in the main spots, but not in the rest of uh, the countryside. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm nowhere closer to know about your views on migration. These are all just that um you know statistics or or you know it's not your views. <laughs> okay. Uh is it in, good or in, is it bad? In, in one case in one case we will have a uh, a lot of problems uh people bringing, more people bringing uh, to, let's say, the West Europe. But on the other hand, uh, we have closer uh, connections like uh, Hungary, like uh, uh, Slovenia, like uh, 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 Czechoslovakia. And uh, they, as long as we have not a, a real plan where to bring people or bring to work people, uh, this will stay a lot, a lot of problems for the future for, let's say, decades. Thank you. That clarifies. Okay. Chad, are you there? Yes, I'm here and I'm uh, seeking whether there are any hands raised, but it doesn't seem that way. So if it would be fine, I would really thank you for, for taking taking this opportunity to, uh, to speak with us. I really appreciate that we have had this chance and I hope we will stay in contact. Okay, uh, I guess as there are uh, no more questions to the topic, I think it, it's fine if our guests stay with us, uh, but we could slowly move to the next point or the, the same point of uh, we have previously break. 
uh, or interrupted, which was the code of conduct election. And I hope we are ready for, for doing so. Are we, Alessandro? Yes, Chair. Okay, here we go. So uh, we will go, uh, we will start with the code of conduct election. The first candidate is William from Part Party of Norway. And uh, we can go country by country or party by party, actually. So the first one is Czech Republic, Part Party of Czechia. it is he here or yes i am here i'm uh, now just not really sure about the question uh we are voting on the uh, code of conduct members the first candidate is william from pirate party of norway and we yeah. are asking or i'm asking what is the position of pirate party of czechia uh, uh, Sorry, towards had, this candidate, I, whether it's yeah, yes had, or abstain. I had short, like when you presented, we are voting for William. Uh, six votes in favor. But party of France. Party Brand votes yes. Just for information, I am leaving the meeting. Francois will take uh, my place for voting. But part of Germany. Abstain. Uh, Pirate Party of Iceland. Could, could, could compare to us. Sorry, I didn't get uh, the vote for casted for Iceland. Yes, have... yes, from Iceland. Yes, yes from, from Iceland. Iceland. Thank you. Pirate Party of Italy. Yes. Pirate Party of Netherlands. Yes. Pirate Party of Norway. Yes. Pirate Party of Catalonia. Yes. Pirate Party of Sweden. Abstain. Uh, members of the European Parliament? Two votes in favor. I see. Well, that was the first candidate, William from Pirate Party in Norway. And now we will vote on the second candidate, which is uh, Linda from Pirate Party of Norway. So, check Pirate Party, the position. Six votes in favor. Pirate Party of France. We vote yes. Part part of Germany. Yes. Part part of Iceland. Three votes yes. Part part of Italy. Yes. Part part of Netherlands. Yes. Part part of Norway. Yes. Part part of Catalonia. Yes. Part part of Sweden. Yes. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes in favor. Okay, thank you very much. So that was the second candidate, Linda from the Pirate Party of Norway. And now we will vote on the third candidate, which is Marco from Pirate Party of Italy. So, Czech Republic, Czech Pirate Party. Six votes in favor. Pirate Party of France. Uh, sorry, for whom are we voting? Uh, Marco from Pirate Party of Italy. Yes. Pirate Party of Germany. Yes. Pirate Party of Iceland. Yes. Part part of Italy. Yes. 
Part part of Netherlands. Yes. Part part of Norway. Yes. Part part of Catalonia. Yes. Part part of Sweden. Yes. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes in favor. Mm -hmm. That was the third candidate, Marco from part, part of Italy. And now we have the fourth candidate, which, which is uh, Michael from part, part of Germany. So, Czech part party. Uh, I'm sorry, the name? Michael Sinclair. Uh, six votes in favor. Part, part of France. Abstain. Germany. Yes. Iceland. I'm sorry, uh, I lost you again. For whom? Uh, we are voting for uh, Michael Sinclair for, for from Pirate Party of Germany. Okay, Iceland abstains. Uh, Italy. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Part part of Sweden what? regarding Michael Sinclair from part part of Germany. Abstain. I see. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes in favor. Wonderful. It was Michael from Pirate Party of Germany, and now we will vote on the fifth candidate, which is Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland. Czech Pirate Party. Six votes in favor. France. Abstain. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Iceland. I'm really sorry, Chair. Uh, the delegate uh, was uh, thrown uh, out of Jitsi and is trying to reconnect. Could you take us at the end of the voting? I will do that. Italy. Thank you. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Could you come back to us? I'm having some issues here. Okay. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes in favor. I see. Once again, Iceland. Yeah, hello. Uh, uh, I lost the connection on the computer. Uh, could you? We are voting for, for Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland to be elected for Code of Conduct uh, Council. Yeah, it's three years from Iceland. I see. Was part of Sweden, meanwhile, able to cast their vote? Yes, we vote yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So that was the fifth candidate, Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland. And now we go to the last, the sixth candidate, which is Bastian from Pirate Party of Germany. So, Czech Pirate Party. Six votes, abstain. France, abstain. Germany, yes. Iceland, abstain. Italy, yes. Netherlands, yes. Norway, yes. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden. Abstain. MEPs. Uh, in favor, two votes.
Okay, I think we need some time for counting the results. Mm, for candidates, not for countries. Sorry, Chair, I made a mistake. It's not your fault. I see hand risen from William of Pirate Party of Norway. Yes, I just wanted to point out that my name has been spelled wrong again. So I made a comment that uh, my name was spelled wrong earlier. And they had forgotten to add my middle name. So I wrote you, you have forgotten to add my middle name. Now they've removed my last name and added my middle name. I'm sorry. Uh, so what is this is completely on me and Alessandro, the Icelandic Italian coalition did not work optimally. I will move uh, currently to correct it. Um, and I'm so, so sorry. It's okay. It's no worries. Mistakes happen. Okay. Uh, so I would declare like, uh, two minutes break or five minutes, five minutes break until, uh, six, uh, 1605, uh, for counting the votes. Yep. So uh, results are almost ready. I don't know if I made some mistakes, but you can check. I mean, we can multiple check because the pad is, is there. So maybe you also checked with me the results because the results actually are ready. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay. Well, let's check the results, but it looks that way that five of six candidates are entering the second round. Could you maybe create a respective table? Sure, sure. Uh, will you not read out the results, Chair, for the YouTube um, stream? Uh, we'll do, I've, but I've announced to break until 16.05. So I will do it officially at 16.05. Oh, Would you sorry, see some... I didn't get I didn't, Sorry, sorry. I'm preparing this stuff for later. Yeah. You, 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 can, you can prepare it so that 16.05 we will declare it and... Uh, start second round. Uh, Marco and Linda will not be in the second round, will they? Uh, 
I think all the candidates who gain more than 50% of the votes cast uh, are going to the second round, aren't they? If I am, if I understood correctly, uh, William, Michael, and Unnar will go to the second round, while uh, Bastian not, because actually, I don't know, all all to the second round. I, I'm I'm sorry, maybe I I forgot, because actually, we have to elect three, right? Uh, yes, we 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 have a tie. I position. think everyone who has more than 10 is going to the second round. 10 and more, actually. Uh, even if we have, uh, because we have a tied in the third position, uh, because, because, because uh, I mean, we are electing three positions, right? And we have actually two positions elected. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. The first two. Uh, 1919. So, it, 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 in my opinion, they shouldn't go to the second round. The problem is the third. We have a tie. I agree with Alessandro on this. We have a tie. So, uh, uh, the problem is now who uh, is going to be to the second round? Only William and Michael. Uh, so sorry, only William and Unnar, because actually Michael has less vote than them. Or William, Michael, and Unnar. In my opinion, we have only a, a William and Unnar. For, we have to decide between William and Unnar, not between William, Michael, and Unnar. I see. Uh, well, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that, uh, I read, read the par respective paragraph of statutes a couple of times more, and yeah, you are right. And there are some people that want to speak there? Yes. Francois from French part party, three of them should go because they all they have plus 50. Uh, I don't think so. Article 17 paragraph 6 of the statutes because uh, because we, we, we took the we took the uh, code of conduct and council uh, election like we, we take the, the respective paragraphs appropriately. If several candidates are to be elected, the candidate who gain more than 50% of the votes cast in order of the highest result to the lowest are elected until all positions are filled. Yeah, and I am sorry. Yeah, MAP has asked for the word. Yes, I totally agree with your interpretation, especially since a little bit long further in the same paragraph it says, the number of candidates shall be double the number of positions still needing to be filled. There's one position needing to be filled, therefore there should be two candidates. So it means that, that we only have two candidates in the second round, William and Unnar. Mop says yes in the comment uh, in the chat. I think there's the sentence in the second round only those candidates. Oh no no no! It does not does not hold for this one. Oh, we need to do to work on the statues actually. So the statues don't foresee a tie. That's a problem. But in the paragraph it says the number of candidates shall be double the number of positions still needing to be filled, and since there is one position to be filled, there should be two candidates, that would be the two with the highest number. The fact that they tie actually don't play a role here, they are going because they are the two with the highest number. Mm. Yeah, I agree with Gregory that this should be in rules of procedure, but I think we have uh, we have never, never written such a rules of procedure that would describe this situation, so yeah, I think independently, the, the complicated situation would, would be whether uh, would there be a tie on the third and 
uh, or on the fourth and fifth place. But this this one is actually possible to 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 solve, isn't it? Yes, but it, uh, uh, fortunately, this is not the case. So uh, yep. in this case, statutes work. Okay, then then yeah. Okay, then we are lucky. So uh, just for people uh, on I, the I YouTube, to... Mike, uh, sorry, chair, Michael would like to speak. Yes, to make things simple, I'll just take my nomination back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So I will I will uh, declare the results. So in the first uh, round, there were sixteen results for William, uh, sixteen votes for William, nineteen votes for Linda, nineteen votes for Marco, fourteen votes for Michael, uh, sixteen votes for Unar, and seven votes for Bastian. Which means in total that uh, Linda and Marco have been elected. And there will be a second vote uh, deciding between uh, William and Unar. So I see no hands risen. So obviously there are no objections to the procedure. And we can go to the we can go to the second round. Start us uh, start uh, voting on. Uh, William from Pirate Party of uh, Norway. So, Czech Pirate Party. Six votes in favor. French Pirate Party. Uh, sorry, we, we started with the uh, which candidates? William from Pirate Party of Norway. Yes. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Abstain. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands. Yes. Norway. Yes. I'm wondering, is this being recorded? Because I don't see it in the in the minutes. Yes, Chair, it's being recorded. Maybe refresh? Okay, so I, I'm, uh, I trust you and I will, I will continue. Uh, Catalonia? Yes. Sweden? Uh, abstain. Members of the European Parliament? Two votes in favor. Okay, so that was the first candidate, William from Pirate Party of Norway, and now we go to the second candidate, which is Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland. The first is Czech Pirate Party to vote on. Six votes in favor. French Pirate Party. Yes. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Six votes in favor. No, three votes in favor. Italy. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Yes. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes in favor. Okay, so do we have the results? Real time, Chair. Can you read the minutes? I hope it will be possible with my connection. Maybe I can spoiler you. Please do. Una 17 votes and uh, William 12. Okay. Then I think we should consider Unar to be winner, and we have elected our new code of conduct council, which is composed of Linda from Pirate Party of Norway, Unar from Pirate Party of Iceland, 
and Marco from part, part of Italy. And I lost connection to the minutes finally. Okay. Uh, are there any objections, hands risen, or anything like that? I see no comments on that issue. And uh, so, uh, once again, congratulations to all the uh, winners. And we can now go back to the election of the uh, last missing uh, member of the board. So uh, let's talk to the nominations. If I'm correct. I see, oops, Code of Conduct Council, oops. Someone vandalized our page with nominations for the board in Wiki. Who did it? And could you please read, uh, undo? In the Wiki? Yeah. Like we have had, we have had originally, uh, we have had originally another table here for uh, nominations I to the board. I updated William's name very quickly. I may have done something terrible, Chair. Let me see. Yeah, somebody overwritten the nomination Whoa. table for the board with, so this with a code of conduct. Redirect. Cancel. It. I haven't seen the, the redirection to management. I don't know who did that. Uh, there should be nominated members of the board and then nominated members of the Code of Council. If you go, whoa. The board shows to the same page. Ah. Yeah. Okay, no, no worries. No worries because uh, we had actually only three. Uh, member uh, candidates for the board member and six so we are lucky we have to replace only three but just for uh, the please sake of, of do not destroy the uh, the list of nominations for uh code of conduct council because yes, this should be recorded yes I, I of the tables. Table. just i have only a question chair uh, we are now electing, um, uh, I mean, what's the situation now? Because if you remember well, if I remember well, we have three candidates, but then a tie uh, again. So uh, in, the, in the second round, so I mean, a tie and without without the majority of uh, vote cast. So uh, what we have to do now? No, uh, not, well, not tie, sorry, sorry. In the second round, in the second round, there was tie, a yeah. procedure agreed uh, by consensus uh, made between uh, Raymond and Bastian regarding this that we will uh, repeat the vote. So I think all the nominations from the original votes should be uh, valid because there was no nothing to invalidate them, and I think it is up to the council whether we should reopen the nominations and add another people because there were definitely some people uh, asking for doing that. But it uh, should we have... I uh, the old nomination. S sorry, who was if that? If you reload the wiki page, it have the old table. I restored the old table. If you reload the yeah. wiki page, you will see the old table with nomination too. Yes, as, as there is the new code of council conduct. Yeah, the, and now it is it is completely just we elect only one member of board without an appointed office. So the the question is, do we want to reopen the nominations? Because if so, someone from the from the council should second such a motion. Otherwise, we will go to uh, to the election with the same nominations. Mikulash? Yes, Raymond? Uh, I second that we open. Um, that's in the pirate spirit, right? We open the nominations again before we vote. Is there anyone objecting reopening of the nominations?
Okay, the, uh, I think the procedure is agreed by consensus. So we are reopening the nominations. The original uh, nominations are still valid, but you can propose new people. Are there any proposals? Yeah. Uh, if if uh, William does not object, I would like to nominate William from Norway or Iceland. Will. Linda, should we second that proposal? Yes, I'll second that proposal. Thank you. I think, okay, I think there is no valid reason for the nomination to be refused. So, uh, would William want to present himself for the board? The touch is open. Uh, yeah, I answered in uh, Jitsi chat that I didn't have any objections to the nomination. Okay, so the nomination is accepted. Anything more you want to add regarding your candidacy? Mm, well, I do have some international experience that I forgot to mention. Uh, but it's mostly been with um, Pirate Party UK and Pirate Party of Australia. Those have been my primary focus and I'm trying to extend my networks with other Pirate Parties to foster cooperation, just not, in, not only in the EU, but with the EU and other members that are not in the EU. So that's the only thing I would like to add. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the introduction. Are there any more nominations? I see no hands risen, so unless there will be no other people uh, or no other proposals, I will consider the list of nominations to be closed. As no one is objecting that, I consider the list of nominations to be closed once again, and we can go to the vote. So I would like to ask the minute takers for preparing of their uh, table. I see it is I, prepared. I already did. I improved myself. You are great. Thank you very much. So we can immediately start with the vote. I updated uh, the wiki as well. Sorry about the errors of, of before. Yep. Uh, and uh, the first candidate, as it is uh, here, is Michael Sinclair from Pirate Party of Germany. And the first party to vote is Czech Pirate Party. So... Uh, six votes abstain. Michael Sinclair, France. Abstain. Germany. Uh, yes. Iceland. It could come back with us to us. Sorry, Iceland, I understood nothing. Uh, yeah, abstain. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands. Netherlands. Are Netherlands still present to the meeting? Well, let's wait until the end of the row. Norway. Abstain. Catalonia. Abstain. Sweden.
Sweden. Sorry, can you get back to us? Uh, I'm having some issues at my end and we're a bit uncoordinated maybe. Uh, I will, I can get, go to back to you, but which country? I'm sorry, I missed it. That was Sweden. That was Sweden. Yeah, you are, I'm still uh, by Sweden, so please cast your vote. I'm saying, can you can you give, can you give Sweden a moment? I'm having some issues here at home that I have to deal with. Members of the European Parliament, to vote abstain. Okay. Once again, Netherlands present. Uh, uh, I vote yes. Uh, can it be confirmed? Yeah, yeah, it's confirmed in the Jitsi chat, so Netherlands, yes. Once again, Sweden, would it be possible to cast your vote? Sweden abstains. Okay. Well, that was the first candidate, and now we go to the second candidate, which is Sven Morkdal from Pirate Party of Norway. So we are work voting on Sven Morkdal. Czech can Pirate you? Party. I'm sorry, Chair. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chair. Yes. Um, What's going on? I believe I believe the Icelandic delegate is changing hands. Uh, changing vote. So before you start, uh, no, 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 no. Just before you start the vote on Sven, if you could uh, talk to Unnar, the Icelandic delegate, who is. Uh, giving his votes to another delegate. Uh huh. Okay, and to whom actually? Jan Jonasson. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think I know who is it. So again, yeah, we are so voting. I'm, I'm giving my delegate to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are voting on uh, Sven Morkdal, so the Czech part party. Six votes to abstain. France. Abstain. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Uh, Iceland votes yes. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Yes. Members of the European Parliament. Two votes abstain. Thanks. So that was the second candidate. And now we are going to vote on the third candidate, which is Jan Marek from the Czech Pirate Party. So Czech Pirate Party. Six votes in favor. France. Yes. Germany. In favor. Iceland. Uh, Iceland abstains. Italy. Abstain. Netherlands. Yes. yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Abstain. Members of the European Parliament. Abstain. Okay. Thank you. That was the third candidate, Jan, from the Czech Part Party. And now the fourth candidate, which is William of Part Party of Norway. 
So we start with Czechia. Abstain. France. Abstain. Germany. Abstain. Iceland. Yes. Italy. Yes. Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes. Yes, I see. Yes. Norway. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Sweden. Abstain. Members of the European Parliament. Abstain. Okay, we have count of the votes. So Michael Sinclair from part, part of Germany received three votes. Sven Morkdal from part, part of Norway received seven votes. Jan Marisch of part, part of Czechia received 12 votes. And uh, William uh, Totenuk Svensson from part, part of Norway received seven votes uh, in total. Hence we elect one candidate who uh, needs to get more than 50% of votes. I think the elected one is Jan Maris from Czech Pirate Party. Is this correct? Seems so. So I congratulate to the winner and I hope it will work properly. Yay. Uh, it's exhausting, chair, isn't it? Sorry? It's exo it is exhausting, uh, uh, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I did not promise to, to be able to do this, this whole day and I will be happy when it is over, <laughs> to be honest. But we can make it. Which I'm sure. Yeah. Yay. I think, uh, unless there are any objections, which does not seem that way, we can go further to the next point in our uh, program, which is the... Uh, yeah, we are supposed to have a break for uh, 15 minutes. However, we are a little bit uh, late, on, late on our schedule. Uh, just uh, raise your hands if you want to have a break now. I see. Uh, I see some hands uh, rise, risen. So uh, I would just give a, an opportunity for Jan to uh, say a few words because we, he came to us, and then we have a break. He is connecting right now. In the meanwhile, Chair, I, can I say a word about, uh, uh, as far as I remember in the agenda, we have to approve the budget for this year, right? Is it correct? Yes, that's one of the motions we should vote on. Uh, yes, be, be, I would like only to, to say one this point before uh, going further to vote that motion. Uh, the thing is that, uh, as as I uh, told before to all the council members, wish uh, I I would prefer this council to vote also on on um, uh, twenty twenty membership fees. Otherwise, um, uh, or, or at least I would like to have. Um, uh, um, and the, uh, some indications from this council how to apply and uh, to employ membership for this year, um, and that's that's also because the budget proposal um, is made of two parts. 
one part is what we have, one what we would like to spend, and what, and, and the last is what we uh, are expecting to have at the end of the year. That's for the sake of you know. Okay, uh, I would like to give the floor to Jan. Uh, then we would have a break, and meanwhile we can table a motion regarding the fees. Is it fine for you? Thank you, Chair. Totally fine for me. Okay, uh, I see some hands risen from Raymond and Alexander. Uh, is it uh, a request for a word or a request for a break? For a break. This was Sorry about. A break. Okay, then I would give the floor to uh, Jan to... Um, hello. So I was told that I was elected to the board or something? <laughs> yes, you were. Congratulations. Okay, I, was, I wasn't watching this meeting because we have... Uh, I actually have two other meetings uh, online now at the same time, so it's kind of hard to keep track of everything because everyone wants to meet on Saturday afternoon. So uh, thank you very much for uh, 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 electing me to the board. I'll. I hope there's there are some notes kept from this meeting so I can read through it after it because I'm really not able list to listen to three conferences at the same time, unfortunately. So yeah. <laughs> And I hope my uh, my membership at the board will not cause the European Bar Pirate Party to cease to exist or to, I don't know, turn into a totalitarian uh, party. I think you would have to be quite uh, quite uh, destructive uh, to, to do so. I think it's not possible. We will manage and looking forward to uh, to work with you. Uh, but uh, then we probably can have the break. I would uh, propose the break until uh, 16.45. That means quarter to five of Central European summer time, if it's so. Anyone objecting that? I see no objections. So the, there, there is a break until, until 16.45. See you in 10 minutes. And Alessandro, yes. we need to... Our, uh... Okay, great. We are on air once again. Wonderful. Thank you for that. And we should start with the motions as they are tabled. So uh, motion number one is uh, for a Europe that fights for the rights of LGBT people. The proposal was initially proposed by uh, part of France seconded by part, part of Norway and part, part of Catalonia. And I believe the part, part of France will use the opportunity to present the motion here. Yes. So uh, this is a motion that has the main goals to emphasize the attachments of the bright movements to the question of LGBTQI plus people rights. Um, regarding the uh, recent events in Europe, uh, in particular in Poland and Hungary, uh, we should be more alert on those topics. Uh, I think it is important that uh, as political parties attached to human rights and freedom, we act uh, our, commitment, our commitment to, to build and promote necessary politics, policies to protect uh, LGBTQI people from discrimination and uh, to offer them the same uh, opportunities than the majority of the, of the population. Um, this motion is a first step for a future common European program on LGBTQI plus rights. And we hope that uh, many of you will follow us in this uh, new journey that uh, will also be an opportunity to strengthen the links between our national programs. We thank uh, Octavia for our feedbacks and grammatical corrections and the uh, person that uh, did also uh, do some modification lastly that I don't have the name of. Well, uh, they do not want their name connected to it. Okay, uh, thank you to them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you for the for the introduction. I have seen uh, hands uh, risen from Octavia, 
from Alice, uh, from not uh, from Mar and from Marco, from Octavia and from Marco. So Octavia, please speak. I apologize, Chair. That was from the break, <laughs> that I was in favor of the break. I'm so sorry I didn't remove it. Please, Marco. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I wanted to point out that, um, yeah, I understood that in the introduction there are different uh, uh, wordings used because they are like used differently in different organizations and in the legal text. But in the text of the motion itself, so when we have the proposal that we want to vote on, uh, there is an inconsistent use uh, of the wording. Because in, uh, in the first part it's written uh, as LGBTI+, plus, I mean, reading uh, the part of the motion regarding the current situation in Europe concerning LGBTI plus people, and then again LGBTI+, plus, and then we say, uh, the man, we, the members of the European Para Party, state that we will work uh, LGBTIA+, plus, and then we have other two instances of LGBTIA+. Plus. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to point out that inside the motion, so not in the introductory text, there is uh, this in inconsistency. May I have the word? Yes, of course. Uh, yes, I um, I just saw that there is this inconsistency and uh, this which I call version four uh, needs to be it needs to be corrected. Uh, LGBTQIA plus uh, uh, all throughout the document, or uh, as the title says, LGBTQ LGBT plus. Um, so with that correction, uh, that should uh, take care of that problem. And thank you from Italy. I have seen hands risen from uh, Francois. Then he lowered his hand. Octavia asked, uh, raised her hand, and uh, Francois raised her, his hand again. So I will first give the uh, uh, word to Octavia and then Francois. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Martin for uh, for pointing this out. Um, I, I think it's important to use the abbreviation different entities use, and both Hungary and Poland call only use the for um, the lesbian, uh, gay, bisexual, and trans abbreviation. And I think that needs to be kept because that is the abbreviation that they use. Um, ILGA has always or consistently used LGBTI. Um, so I think when it comes to the ILGA report part, of the statement, I think that needs to be kept uh, as ILGA uh, maybe change spelled uh, ILGA. Uh, it is ILGA. Um, but I agree that in the motion itself, it there are two places where it says LGI plus, and I think it would be appropriate to change those in accordance with the rest of the motion. I'm not sure if this was clear, but the suggestion I am is spelling ilga correctly in the statement. So it's ilga, not igla, and to keep the different abbreviations in accordance to their statements and at the bottom in the motion being consistent there. And so changing the first two abbreviations by adding QIA plus. Thank you. Francois asked for the word. Yes. Uh, uh, just to say fully agree with what uh, Octavia just said. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, we, uh, I, will, I will go for a change in, uh, in the motion uh, uh, with what she said. Like we change uh, the, the little two uh, uh, ones on the last part. Uh, that that could be good. Raymond, please speak. Okay, so uh, there are two ways to 
to um, um, fix this. One is to stay with Octavio's uh, version. Let's call that version three um, and not complicate it. Uh, number two uh, is to stay with version four or vote on version four, but then we need to fix some things. And I think Octavio is the best to do that. So I'm asking Octavio to look through this version four and correct the things that you mentioned. Uh, you know, maybe you can do that in five minutes and, and then we can vote on it. Chair, may I? Uh, yes, please do. I, I believe Francois is making the changes now and um, it is, I don't want to overstep. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, um, of course. Thank you. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I will make the changes now as, as fast as lightning. Okay, uh, I think we can have like a uh, three minutes break to finish the motion and then come back to come back to it and vote on it. By the way, I would have done the changes myself, but I don't trust myself because I don't I haven't got you know enough knowledge to do the job properly. Sorry, Octavia. I've seen a hand raised from Michael. But you have to unmute yourself. I would love to see in the motion that it's fully written, uh, the abbreviation, so everyone who doesn't understand it um, has a chance to understand what we are saying. I think when where there is a final version, you can put it to the mattermost chat, so we read it and then put to Wikipedia. Uh, by the way, Nicholas, for the minutes, we would need the guy who presented himself as political movement from Madeira. Oliver, I understood nothing. Can you repeat it, please? The guy who presented himself as guest from Madeira, the island uh, close to Portugal, we would need his name for the min minutes to complete this. It's in the Mattermost chat.
Charles, sorry, I'm getting lost. Uh, what are we doing right now? I understood that uh, that way that we are doing some final minor changes in the in the proposed text, so uh, we can vote on that. And I hope that it will be like finished like now. Is it is it that way, or what is the state of play? Uh, I see yeah, some as, document as in the matter I can put it somewhere else if you like, but I corrected the um, the points at hand, and um, it's an ODT right now. But I can also PDF it. Okay, I think it should be uploaded to the Wikipedia. Is it possible to upload this version to Wikipedia so we have the final final version in our wiki and we can finally start voting on that issue? Yes, Leonardo Reis. Come on, guys, we had some coffee just 20 minutes ago. Are, are you sleeping? So, a question. Is everyone happy about uh, this motion? Can we put it to the vote? Alessandro, you will be recorded in YouTube for the rest of eternity. Ah, uh, yes, yes, but but you know what? Google has something like oblivion. Okay, so do we have an uploaded version to the Wikipedia currently, the right one for this motion? Is it the one we so we could vote? Oh no, there is this draft still. Is anyone do it, uh, working on that issue? As far as I know, uh, I'm sorry, Chair, as far as I know, the PDF is ready and uh, there's nobody that has said that they will upload it to the wiki. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anyone who is unable to access Mattermost to see the current version uh, we will vote on, which is the one sent by in post on Town Square by Octavia at 17.03? It's called PPEUCE 2305 version 15 uh, zero one this one this particular one is there anyone who is unable to see it and assess it to, to cast the vote so uh, we are we are about to vote oh. version uploaded by Octavia, right on town square uh, exactly one moment, please. Yes, uh, I'm able to see it, but uh, it's also a mistake because when you write it out, it's not a asexual plus, it's asexual and others. Because what is asexual plus? Uh, 
I would like to ask anyone proposing a motion for the council to do so in form of pad in future so that we can do this minor changes uh, on fly so to say and not really like what we are doing now or using the wikipedia so is there a need for another correction alexander uh no only this correction uh as we said ajax and others and not asexual plus. Perhaps we can uh, make it in the minutes or make a change shortly. Can I just tell you that I care about you, all of you? It's great to hear. Uh, well, Francois is arguing in the in the. Uh, chat uh, to leave it like this one plus uh, there is there is another version from Octavia okay yes uh, I mean uh, and others but okay <laughs> plus is better than the plus side. I do agree with the Finnish uh, pirate. Can I say something uh, really short? Yes, please do. Uh, the, the plus sign is something that everybody uses. And uh, what we need to consider is uh, using the terminology or language of the people that live in this uh I don't know, collective or, or, or movement. And the way it's written is with a plus. Uh, we could say, uh, or others uh, to be better at English, but this is how it is written. So I second that we uh, vote on it now as it's presented in matter most. Uh, and you mean the version ending with 7.pdf? But this is no doubt, but. Uh... The long uh, termination will explain that, yes, because you have to also to explain plus. When you write a short abbreviation, then it's plus. But when you explain what it means, then this means and others. Because when you see asexual plus, you mean see what is asexual plus, yes. Uh, it is and others. So, but, uh, okay. Uh, Can, can I ask you uh, if you can live with the version as it is without the as others? Can we vote on it even if we change it afterwards uh, in the different countries? Yes, but this is not a question of different anyway, countries. A, it's, a question, it's, a, it's a question if anybody understand what it means, and this is uh, also a problem of these abbreviations, yes. Uh, but okay, um, I, I hope that uh, the people read this so that they don't mean uh, that somebody is asexual plus, um, that uh, this means that there are also others, uh, others than those are mentioned before. I understand and I respect that. Uh, uh, there is a motion on the floor that has been seconded, Mikulaj. Yes, uh, if I understand it correctly, we are currently fine with the version that was put to the Mattermost at uh, 1707 by Octavia and, and 07.pdf. Is, is it so? I understand it the same way, yes. And the proposal is, so to say, consensual, and I see Alessandro raising his hand. Uh, no, sure, yeah, it, it was like, um, uh, this, this gave me the opportunity to just point out for the future uh, uh, um, an important thing. 
Um, the thing is that uh, we uh, we are just. I'm very glad that we are discussing finally about politics uh, other, uh, after all these elections. Not meaning that elections are not important; they are, of course. But now we are moving out, uh, speaking about politics, and and this motion is just one of the first step. And I do uh, want to thank you all the pirates that are working, pirates and non-pirates that are working to this motion. Uh, um, I would just like to point out the attention of one important thing uh, words are extremely important for sure we have we are here we are 20 and we have probably uh, 30 languages speaking um, we just put it, this in english but what i mean is that concepts are more important than words i mean when we are fine with concept we should just know that there's something cosmetics that can be i mean for instance imagine i i will translate it for the italian um, Pirates and not pirates, even, and I will translate it literally. And because translation is always betraying, you know, I will do it in the the way I just uh, understand it would be better for the Italians in Italian. You know what I mean? So I think we should move on and and focus on the um, uh, the political points we want to express, and then leave all the translations, even in English later thank you mm -hmm. uh, okay i see hand arisen from michael sinclair um, yes we we all understand the main motion of this motion and the small uh, written problems to correct that uh, is actually i think the job of the new um, nominated uh, uh, cock uh, group and they could actually you could actually if you want changes done ask them and uh, they agree on this and we can change that all the time it's not a problem with if, if the board and the and the um, court of a uh, or, or that's their actually job to sort things small things out but we know the main motion and it's and it's a good motion and it's a very important motion and we can easily move forward with this and it will get translated a lot of times as well and uh, there'll be lots of changes in translation so <laughs> it, it, it's 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 good that we all agree on something yes I have seen hand risen from Wood. There is another hand risen from Michael Sinclair. N no, that's some mistake, isn't it? Marco. No, yeah, and Marco meanwhile, meanwhile lowered his hand. So I see. I see a hand risen from Linda. Fire yes. part Norway. Yes, um, I don't think it's a court of conduct issue with spelling. Uh, and you know minor changes to the text i think uh, that's uh, let's just resolve this motion and uh, get it out the door yes from the procedural point of view and i understand that this is a motion of council which is the highest body of european uh, part party so no the, uh, the other bodies are only uh, only allowed to like follow it or interpret it but not change it itself However, I believe we can vote on that as it is. Uh, I hope you all had the opportunity to see it in, Wiki, uh, in the Mattermost. I hope it will be uploaded to the Wikipedia as uh, soon as possible. So I would like to start the vote on the issue. So uh, I see there is already a table prepared. So unless there are any objections, we can start the vote with the Czech Pirate Party. In favor, six votes. France. Yes. Germany. Yes. Iceland. Uh, Iceland votes for. Yes. Yes. It Italy. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Norway? Yes. Catalonia? Yes. Sweden? Yes. Members of European Parliament? In favor. Here we go. Congratulations to all. The motion was unanimously approved. Thank you very much.
Okay, now I would go to uh, directly to the second motion, which was uh, proposed by myself. Uh, well, I think I should transfer uh, chairing to someone else. Uh, would it be fine if I transfer the uh, chairing to Octavia? Yes, Chair. Thank you. I I will chair then while you are presenting. Is that correct? Uh, the presentation was already done uh, during the during the uh, morning. However, still I'm open to the discussion. Uh, we are we still have the, the space for the for it. Thank you. So we are currently. I, I'm having, as some of you, uh, a slight issue with the pad, uh, which I have no more. So we now have, after the presentations of the motions this morning, after the voting on the first motion, we now proceed to motion number two, which is the motion adequately named I'm sorry for the delay. Here it is. Here we go. A roadmap to formal registration. So after the proposal was uh, submitted this morning for presentation, I am now who would like to say something? I am pasting currently the motions the Jitsi. Anyone have a so I have list. Let me just see. I'm checking. So you have a ray from Jim Pirates. And if there's anyone else with ray hands, I am checking the town square. Nope. So please, Ray from Norwegian Pirates, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, like the, as I said, in Mattermost, the natural progression, uh, the next step. Um, which should have been, to be honest, taken earlier. Um, so I formally move uh, to go to a vote after everybody has uh, had a chance to speak their mind. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Alessandro, would you like to take the word next? Thank you. Alessandro from the Italian Pirates. Thank you. Our, you know, coordinate, PPIS and PPIT strength force today is, is still doing a lot of job. I do thank you. Um, I would like to only to say th these two things. The first is that um, I believe that um, the European Pirate Party can be a real political party, a real political force in Europe uh, to es es express the full potential of some huge countries uh, that are not, did not the great um, exploit as uh, uh, German, for, uh, Sweden first, German second, and, and lately Czechs did. We would like really to help this movement also in Italy, in, in all Spain, in France, and whatever. Now, I think that this is a good, a good way to move forward. We had uh, such a beautiful uh, double, I mean, cro I called it cross uh, um, uh, board meeting last um, weekend, the PPI and PPU joint meeting, joint board meeting. And, and we find out that actually we have a, a great um, organization, an NGO that is PPI, that can do a lot for this movement and can go straight forward to 
spread the war the the i mean all the words pirate words all over the world and and produce some tools some tooling and so on in the meanwhile the the european pirate party can be concentrated to uh, affirm, affirm itself as um, a, a european party at the european level so i found this proposal from from nicolas extremely extremely important and i would like uh, to see a, a, not a new birth but the, this party growing like a party so i i totally second that thank you thank you uh, alessandro uh, does anyone else want to have the word on this particular motion, Yi Yong from the Dutch Pirates um, would like to say some words. Please go ahead. Uh, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Ah, good. Um, well, uh, in the main part, I uh, am in favor of this motion. The only thing that uh, can be a bit dangerous is that uh, small parties can see us as a stepping stone and once they are established that they will reveal uh, their true goals. So um, will there be a mechanism uh, where we can sort of clearly say that, okay, when we were working with them, these were the goals that were communicated with us and perhaps at some later point in time we diverge paths, uh, but that we can make it clear uh, that they have uh, diverged their path. Uh, that's the thing I wanted to mention. Thank you, Yiyo. Um I'm gonna allow Mikolaj to answer, and then I have Linda next. Uh, currently, our uh, statutes, Article 12, Paragraph 3, say any member may also be suspended or excluded by the council by uh, on at uh, least one of the following grounds. A. Non-compliance with its obligations. B. Non-compliance with the criteria of membership. What is, let's say, needed is, so to say, uh, clear definition what does it mean to be pirate uh, within, within our statutes currently we are uh, for example promoting unviolable and unalienable rights uh, uh, of the human being freedom democracy equality and the rule of law that's clearly in in our statutes so should someone uh, of the members violate it uh, the, the council is entitled to exclude that member. I think this is nothing really, really specific in the European uh, part, uh, European party's political life. I know that the Greens, for example, I think last year or the year before, they excluded some party from Latvia or somewhere like that because the party uh, clearly went like crazy from their point of view. Uh, I think it would be crazy also from our point of view, but doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, so uh, that's the state of play. And of course, like it holds not only for non-pirate parties, we would possibly by this by this motion uh, uh, allow to, to enter, but also for pirate parties. Like would some pirate party be overtaken by, I don't know, nationalist, fascist or some, something like that? We are fully entitled to exclude it and even uh, that would be even so it would be quite like set development uh, in such a uh, under such a circumstances we should do that but i see no pirate party currently which would be under this this threat but still it's it's useful to have such a statement in the statutes and it should not be uh, revoked so uh, clearly, that, that there is this sort of like atomic bomb and maybe our statutes uh, will have to be more clear on what we stay for. Maybe we would have to discuss about, uh, let's say, 
some other views which were maybe not that much stressed in the statues and maybe we would like to incorporate them that's also possible but that's for for the future discussion about like where we want to evolve and uh, possibly what kind of partners are we able to find uh, yes um... thank you for this mikulash uh, next is linda thank you octavia from Norwegian. Yes, thank you. Um, I have uh, a question for um, Mikolaus. Um, it looks like you are um, looking to form coalitions to meet the requirements to be a political party in the uh, European Parliament so that we can reap all the benefits of that by including um, the necessary additional manpower from other parties um, to give them observer membership status. Now, does that mean that they will not have voting rights within um, the PPEU, but they will vote with the coalition in the parliament? Um, I'm just trying to understand the, the role of the observer party uh, when, it, when we become a political party, as far as uh, if, if they do not agree with pirates, um, as part of that coalition, uh, would the pirate uh, motions still be carried forward to the European Parliament? Thank you, Linda. And Mikolaj, I'm going to allow you to um, reply to Linda. And then afterwards, I have Alexander from the German pirates. So go ahead, Mikolaj. Well, there are two things. Uh, one of the things is uh, European, uh, European party uh, or European level party, uh, which is, for example, uh, European Green Party or European Free Alliance. Second thing uh, which uh, we currently, which, which exists, are groups within the European Parliament. That's, for example, Greens IFA where the pirates are currently uh, also members of. It currently works that way that Greens IFA does not oblige its members to do whatsoever. Yeah, so we can theoretically vote uh, completely contradictory to the, uh, to the vote of the group. And uh, on some issues, we, we do uh, vote differently from what the Greens are voting. Uh, should there be like bigger group of pirates in future, we will have again the discussion. Should there be something like um, Greens IFA? Should it be called Greens IFA pirates? Should there maybe be uh, something like Greens and pirates slash IFA or any other option which will arise from the political reality after the next election? This is really hard to predict. So, uh, yeah, like uh, for uh, the reason why it is important to have European Pirate Party is that this is a base for a common uh, election program which serves as a base for negotiations of this process. Yeah, the, the common election program is a base for MEPs to know what not only pirates from their own respective member states, but all the pirates from acro uh, across Europe want. And this, this common election program will uh, stay intact, if I answered your question. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mikulash. And also, I just want to be mindful of the time. So if we could um, shorten our answers a little bit, but still, of course, give the conversation the time that it needs, it would be much, much, much appreciated. Um, so next, I have Alexander from the German Pirate Party and Francois from the French Pirates is uh, on the list after. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I want to comment what Mikolaj said before. Um, and remember that we have a pirate manifest, yes, and uh, all parties who are members of the uh, uh, European Pirate Party uh, should agree on this manifest. I think this is a political basis uh, we uh, are from.
Thank you. Uh, Alexander? Uh, it was my mistake, Francois did not want to speak. I misunderstood a town square emoji sort. Um, so I have now um, Henrik uh, Passmark from the Swedish Pirates. Then I would like to give people the last chance to add on and then I will suggest to the minute taker um, to prepare as I will then send it to a vote. So I have Henrik Passmark and then I have Mikolas Pekka. So go ahead Henrik from the Swedish Pirates. Yes. Um, first of all, I um, I would like to um, well agree agree with everyone who's previously spoken on the issue that I also consider this to be a very good motion and an important step. But I also have a question. Um, the Pirate Manifesto is something that every member organization that well, at least every full member of the uh, PPE you have to accept, but does that apply to observer members as well? Thank you. Thank you, Henrik. Um, does anyone particular want to answer that question? Uh, yes. Um... I think uh, no one members, yes. Okay, so Alexander from the German Pirates would like to answer the question that Henrik Pasmak had. And Mikolas, you are up after. Yes, uh, I uh, mentioned this because uh, uh, all members, also observer members, um, have to accept this as a basis. Um, I think this was the intention of uh, the process we had. Good. Uh, if I may add... Then uh, the, next, and the last person to get the word is then Mikolas Pexa, and then I suggest that we move the motion for a vote. So please go ahead, Mikolas. Yep. Uh, if I may comment on that, so far I know now uh, I, I can't find uh, clearly the manifesto in our neither in our wiki nor in our pages. So I would really appreciate would it be uh, pointed out clearly so that everyone is uh, aware of his or her ob obligation. And yeah, uh, as previously mentioned, uh, if you look into the statutes. Uh, even the observer members are obliged to uh, to follow the pirate manifesto uh, and other parts of the statutes. Uh, there will be definitely possibility that during the discussions with potential partners, uh, the question will arise whether a particular part of our statutes or manifesto should be mandatory even for those uh, for those uh, partners. And at that point, uh, this council is the last uh, and ultimate authority to decide whether such a partner is worth of that type of compromise. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm also getting the hang of the French pirate emoji, uh, so I I feel like I'm progressing as a chair uh, currently. Now, um, I have no more people uh, or no more delegates uh, wishing uh, to speak, so I suggest that motion two uh, is put towards a, a vote. So, Seconded. please. If there are any objections. Perfect. Then I suggest that we go to voting delegates. Please get ready to cast your votes. I due to lag, I will uh, progress um, slightly slower. 
Uh, I now ask the delegates of the Czech Republic to cast their votes on the motion of the proposal roadmap to formal registration. Czech Republic? Six votes in favor. Thank you, Czech Republic. And the delegates of the French pirates, please. Yes. France votes yes. The delegate from the German pirates, please. Yes. Germany votes yes. The delegate from the Icelandic pirates, please. Abstain. Abstain. Icelandic pirates abstain. Italian pirates, the delegate from the Italian pirates? Yes. Italy votes yes. Dutch pirates, the delegate from the Netherlands? Yes. Yes. The Dutch pirates vote yes. Norwegian pirates? Yes. The delegate from the Norwegians, they, Norway votes yes. Catalonia, the Catalonian pirates? Yes. Vote yes as well. Catalonia votes yes. Swedish pirates, the delegate of the Swedish pirates, please. Yes. Swedish pirates vote yes. And last but not least, the delegate of the members of the European Parliament. How do you vote? Two votes in favor. Two votes in favor. I will interpret that as a yes. Thank you all for your patience. We are working hard at the results. If I may, minute taker, I would like to reveal the results of the vote of motion number two, the roadmap to formal registration. You can. Thank you. The results are out of 19 votes, 16 were in favor and three abstained. Thank you, everyone, for your patience and your votes on this one. The motion is passed. Motion number three. I will be continuing at uh, what I would like to call lightning speed. We will continue to motion number three as put forth in the uh, agenda of today's council meeting. Motion number three is called the update on council membership. The update on council membership. I will be adding the link to both the chat of the Jitsi and the Mattermost channel. So please enjoy the CryptoPad link momentarily. And in the town square of the matter most. So the motion number three update on council membership is a proposal set forth by the board of the European Pirate Party, who uh, will be uh, speaking on this. It was introduced in the morning of this meeting. And so does anyone want to speak on this particular motion? Actually, I have a, a question. Um, I second the motion, but uh, hang, from, on, so uh, Marco, hang on, Marco, would you would you like to speak? Yes. So, Marco, I have, uh, have no one else at this point. So, please, Marco from the Italian Pirates, please go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, I have a question about um, uh, this morning in the chat. If I understood correctly. Uh, it was said that uh, also the um, Spanish Pirate uh, Confederation is uh, almost in, in the same situation, but I didn't understand if it dissolved from the legal point of view or if it's just uh, inactive. And so it, if it should uh, add, uh, be added at the least now or late at a later point, I mean to the list of the dissolved parties or not. 
Thank you for your question, Marco. Uh, does anyone want to speak as to answering the question of Marco from the Italian Pirates? Uh, yeah, sure. Just to say that the Confederation oh, is sorry, uh, currently is that non-legally... Uh, yeah, <laughs> from Catalonia. So, yeah, so Dario from the Catalonian that. Pirates, thank you. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry. Uh, what I meant is that the Confederation part, uh, Pirate Party from Spain is not legally uh, dead, it's not legally removed, but it's uh, just inactive for the, for the meantime. Thank you, uh, Dario. I hope that answered your question, Marco. I have two more people uh, on the uh, on the speakers list. First is Michael Sinclair from the German Pirates, and after Alessandro from the Italian Pirates. So please go ahead, Michael and Alessandro, get ready. Thank you. Um, yes, it's. Uh, I feel very strongly that we, if we had a member once, uh, we should give them a distinct uh, title and not just uh, throw them out, but um, keep them frozen with a different sort of um, title. Maybe we could change it to a pirate movement group that is not no longer a political party and only sort of political parties or observer members of politically activity are actually uh, political groups that pay but we always give an inclusive chance for countries to take part in giving them a, um, a special status so you never know maybe uh, there will be a few individuals in the future who become active and are interested in the pirate movement and all these people you always have to give the chance and they have a framework to use. They just have to relight this uh, fire from the pirate feeling. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Alessandro from the Italian Pirates is next. And then I have Mikolas uh, from the Czech Pirates. So you're up after that. So get ready, Mikolas. And uh, Alessandro, the word is yours. Thanks, Chair. Uh, I totally agree on what Michael just said because um, I mean open doors are, are absolutely um, in our in our heart. You know the pirate movement is not a closed uh, you know a closed movement where we can just get rid of or throw something away from the bus. Uh, but um, as far as I understand, uh, there are both ways. I mean we should. For for some reason, just try to involve them, try to ping them if something is going to be wrong. But it, it's very important that we consider this, even from a legal point of view. Uh, let let me say seized, you know, just uh, uh, not more, not member anymore. Um, and as far as I remember, but maybe uh, some of you like Mab or or something that know the said it's more than me. Um, we have also some uh, some rules of this because uh, if uh, um, a, a member um, membership um, a, a full member is not paying their membership fees for more than some years, I don't know, maybe it's two years consecutively. Maybe we should consider it. Let me say that uh, even even though it's it's really maybe in in their original country not closed like uh, as, a, as an association um, uh, so uh, it, for instance right now I, I i have four as i told you before four non-answer from some party that we don't know uh, if they are active or not for sure maybe the, the uh, pirate party of luxembourg are so i will keep trying but what about pirate party of poland and Pirate Party of Spain is one of them. For instance, we will keep trying uh, maybe for Pirate Party of, of Greece, but then what next? So I think that this is a decision that has to be made also, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Alessandro. And next I have Mikolas from the Czech Pirates. Please go ahead. 
Uh, yeah, it's quite like a sad uh, topic to discuss. However, uh, we need to deal with the situation when uh, our web page is actually referring to web pages which are not exist, uh, which do not exist, and uh, to domains which actually are uh, open for registration. This is the state of play. Like, uh, of course, we should be inclusive. However, if there is no organization we could refer and like from the legal point of view we are sort of like confederation uh, of uh, legal entities and if this legal entity does not exist we cannot refer to that and of course like there uh, there are countries and pirates in there and i personally know some uh, one guy from romania who is really like willing to push pirate ideas over there but he's no longer he's not party he, he, he's one of those, uh, he's the only one who kind of uh, uh, remained, uh, remained uh, loyal to pirate ideas when the, uh, all the others uh, left. I think for those parties uh, or those, those countries, we need to work with a different way. What I would like to see in future would be sort of like a contact list on the European level so that uh, all the Romanians, Bulgarians, and so on, who are interested in pirate politics, receive at least once a month a newsletter from the European Parliament, what the pirates are doing in the European Parliament. And maybe one day we will find a way how to go to Romania or Bulgaria and organize a meeting in a pub in Bucharest, uh, invite all those receiving those newsletters to have a nice meeting and maybe discuss what's going on in Romania and how to proceed. That would be my way how to deal with Romania. But I think currently, uh, if we know no one who would like be head of any NGO party, whatever legal entity that would be based over there, it makes no sense to refer to them as a party. Thank you, Mikolas. I have Michael Sinclair from the German Pirates, and then I suggest if you have additional things you'd like to say, any of the delegates here or others, um, please um, come on the list now. I will soon be closing the list. Um, so please, Michael, go ahead, and then afterwards, Alexander from the German Pirates as well. Yeah. So get ready, Alexander. Michael, um, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Octavia. Um, I would suggest that we, we, when we have so many uh, individuals around Europe that uh, want to be involved and are pirates, that we make at European level um, a membership possibility and they don't have to actually represent their land or have this um, complicated way. We should simplify the way to become a pirate and if they can't become a pirate in their own country, uh, they should be have a have a place in Europe as a whole to become an individual pirate. Thank you, Michael. And Alexander from the German Pirates, please go ahead. Uh, yes. Um, um, okay, I believe we have uh, uh, lost contact, but uh, the Slovenian Pirates seems to be active. So uh, I uh, see an active internet page. Yes. Um, uh, looking for that. Uh, and okay, we discussed this last time uh, for the Romanian pirates as a Facebook page, but this is uh, maybe not so um, uh, active. Yes, uh, so I ask uh, um, Mikolaj um, how you investigate that, how active uh, these groups are, and uh, maybe an alternative uh, way is. Uh, that we say, okay, um, they could be um, observer members. Uh, we have made this uh, at uh, Myland um, um, with Belgium. Um, because um, when we are not sure whether or not these groups um, are longer active, I think uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, throw them completely out. 
Thank you, Alexander. Um, a quick note, I'm in touch with the Slovenian pirates. They are very much alive. Um, I unfortunately did not see who came first. So Bastian, uh, Sebastian from the German pirates, please go ahead. And Linda, um, you're up after Sebastian. So please, Bastian, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there is a um, legal uh, problem. We have quorums, maybe you uh, remember. And uh, each party is on a list uh, will, um, will write the quorum. So uh, we have to go to our statutes. And the statute said, it said, is the party dead? The party is dead. And the party who is dead and has a relaunch can back, come back in any case. So it's easy. But we have to pay attention to the quorum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, now I have Linda from the Norwegian Pirates and Mikolaj Peksa from the um, from the Czech Pirates afterwards. So Linda, uh, please go ahead and Mikolaj, get ready. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I agree with uh, the former speaker that um, there needs to be a formal process to exclude parties that no longer meet requirements because there is a fairly easy way to get back in. Uh, if there are people interested in pirate politics, they can uh, also be uh, sent towards uh, individual membership or Pirate Parties International. Uh, so there are venues for people who want to contribute to the cause without being um, members, full members of PPEU. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. And now Mikolaj, Czech pirate. Yeah, uh, I think we are definitely not talking about Slovenia because, uh, plainly honest, Slovenia is one of the most successful pirate parties in Europe. Just watch their Facebook for time and uh, like everyone should be envious about their reach, how they are able to promote pirate ideas in Slovenia. We are talking about Croatia and Romania. Uh, I think Croatia was discussed a couple times as being that uh, already in previous councils. And if you look into uh, the web page that is being, uh, that was linked from uh, our, uh, our page, uh, Croatia is, I think, up for uh, registration. Yeah. Talking about Romania, my specific information come from Mr. Stefan Christian. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm sorry if I uh, pronounce his name uh, incorrectly, uh, who was member of the local group uh, and informed me about the situation. Uh, effectively, uh, the situation in Romania was uh, all the time uh, working so that uh, there, were, there was a small group, I think five to 10 people uh, who were never never been bigger, and uh, during this winter uh, they decided uh, to give up on pirate name and they choose for some different name which I uh, I'm uh, sorry I, I forgot, but uh, yeah uh, that's that's the story uh, I, I uh, got from Stefan. Uh, would you not be sure about? Uh, about Pirate Party of Romania. I know there is uh, one of their former members, and I think he was even uh, for some time a chair. Uh, his name is Christian Bulemak, and he is uh, 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 an employee of uh, uh, Greens IFA in Brussels. I have not discussed with him this particular topic specifically, but if you have some, some hesitation about Romania, I'm absolutely fine with like removing this particular uh, line from that proposal and investigating on that uh, on that issue more. But Croatia is, according to all the, my knowledge, completely dead. Thank you, Mikolaj. Uh, Gregory Engels from the German Pirates has also said that Croatia in the chat is officially deregistered as a party. Um, I am going to give you a minute collectively to somehow protest or add information or in any other way uh, speak up in regards to Romania. 
If not, then as the choice meeting, I will put this forth to a vote. So please, I am following both the town square and I am following the chat in Jitsi and I'm following the up with the hand function as well. I so far do not see Katlahom uh, from the Icelandic Pirates. Is it in regards to the Romanian Pirates and Motion 3? No, it was like a party hand. Like, put your hand in the air. Then I suggest that we wait okay. with the party hands till afterwards. And for now, use the hand function only if you would like the word. Uh, I appreciate a party hand, but uh, as chair, I'm trying to keep things straight, narrow, and on time, as um, some of us have been here since 8 a.m. Um, and some of you are going into the evening. Um, and thank you, everyone, for participating. We know that these are long days. So uh, <laughs> thank you, Catalunya, for always being there. Uh, now I then... Okay, uh, Ray, Norwegian, now you guys are just messing with me. Ray, can I understand your gesture as you wanting to take the word on Romania? Would you like to, no, you're all messing with me. As the chair of this meeting, I now propose that we go to vote. Delegates, please get ready to cast your votes. Min taker, I see that you have already prepared. In the pad, there is no line for me to refer to. However, it is motion three, an update on council memberships, a proposal by the PPU board. I will uh, proceed uh, slowly in, in case of lag. So please, uh, I will start with the delegate of the Czech Republic, the Pirate Party of the Czech Republic. How do you vote? Uh, four. Four. Four votes. In favor. In favor. No, no, ah, in favor. Thank sorry. you. So you're in favor. So that's a yes. Thank you, Czech Pirates. Uh, delegates of the French Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. You vote yes. German Pirates, how do you vote? Delegates. Yes. Could you please repeat? Yes. Thank you. Germany votes yes. Iceland. Icelandic Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Iceland votes yes. Delegate of the Italian Pirates, how do ye vote? Yes. Italy votes yes. And the minutes are updated. The Dutch Pirates, the delegate from the Netherlands, how do you vote? Yes. You vote yes. Can I have a confirmation, please? Yes. Thank you. Norwegian Pirates, the delegate of the Norwegians, how did you vote? Norway votes in favor. Norway votes in favor. I will take that as a yes. Catalonia, the delegate of the Catalonia Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Catalonia votes yes. Sweden, the delegate of the Swedish Pirates, how do you vote? Swedish Pirates, the delegate of the Swedish Pirates. I am not reaching or hearing an answer. I will wait with the Swedish pirates and go straight to the members of the European Parliament, the delegate of the MEPs. How do you vote? Yes. You vote yes. So the delegate of the MEPs votes yes. Left are the pirates. Is there a delegate present from the Swedish pirates? 
I know we've had connectivity issues and lag today. I will allow them a little bit of time. Unfortunately, I cannot see uh, Mab was just disconnecting a few minutes ago, but I don't know if he's going to be coming back or not. The, uh, is Henrik present? Mob rejoin meeting. I just saw. Matthias, can you, Mob, can you, are you a delegate on behalf of the Swedish pirates and can you vote on their behalf, please? Sorry, I just logged in because uh, Henrik told me that uh, we got offline. So if you tell me where we are, I can tell you where we vote. Absolutely. We are on motion three, update on council membership. There is a link in the pad. I can relink if you need. It is the motion that uh, to, yeah, that to, let me just link it to you here in the Jitsi chat. I'm looking for the vote of the Swedish pirates to the motion three. It is the termination of two memberships. A Sweden vote yes. Sweden votes yes. Thank you and thank you the rest of the delegates for your patience. Thank you for the Swedish delegate for making it. Um, with your permission, Minute Taker, I would like to uh, reveal the results of the vote. Is it counted? Permission granted. Thank you. Then uh, the uh, motion was overwhelmingly and unanimously passed with 19 of 19 votes. I uh, must admit I've been up since very early this morning and have several Pirate Party um, rules in my head currently. Uh, I'm hoping for a board member of the European Pirate Party to assist me as it is now currently uh, 4.04 UTC, um, 18.04 uh, CET. Do I need permission of the meeting to extend it to allow us to vote on the last motion or can I continue the meeting and uh, and end the meeting after the final uh, vote? Does anyone? Yes, Mikolas? I think the official end of motion was scheduled for the time quarter past uh, eight, uh, quarter past six, so we have still some 10 minutes. And I would very much insist on approving of the budget because unless having uh, unless we have the budget, we can't do anything this year. Absolutely, so it's really really you. necessary to approve the budget. It was just the formality of whether I needed to ask for an extension or whether I could dive straight into what to us board members is, is something that we uh, that we dearly um, look forward to. You had the presentation this morning. Um, the last and final, um, and I will get back to your uh, last minute motion, Ray, in, in just a second. I, I didn't oversee it. I, I did, in fact, see it. However, there is a budget proposal that we're looking to, um, to have either passed or rejected. You will find the information uh, not separate, but straight in the minutes or sorry in the wiki i am posting a link now where you should be able to see it i am also posting it to the channel town school you will find it at the bottom of that page now i am opening up any discussion conversation comments or questions in relation to the budget so delegates and other good folks and bad folks, please um, use the raise hand feature on Jitsi if you would like the word, if you would like to speak. Also, those of you that are 
on Mattermost piece right into the town square channel if you would like to speak. I have a one worker, that is Alessandro, the treasurer of the European Pirate Party board and a member of the Italian Pirate Party. I have no one else, so please um, go ahead, Alessandro. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, as, I, as I told you before the break, um, actually a budget proposal is not only uh, a, just simply a representation of the status quo, is just something that we um, we can do like um, you know expectations and 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 something for the for the incoming uh, for this year and something that we, we would like to do with with money we have already have collected this year for uh, i think it's very clear the 2019 balance is the available balance is what you will find in our fio bank uh, transparent account link and the account balance is what you will find next week after uh, the money already um, flow into the account. Still due is what we uh, cannot collect right now. We couldn't collect for now. So I, I should consider it for now lost for this for this year. But I, you know, never mind. And and all uh, these prepaid fees are are just uh, fees that are already counted into. The available balance because it's the pirate party uh, Sweden inherited. Um, expenses are very clear. It's what we are asking to expand to spend this year, and the 2020 incomes are, as I told you, the fees due if um, all the members just pay 300 uh, euro per year. So my proposal is because I need uh, uh, really to um, in, instead of splitting this vote into two parts. So let's say one part is just to uh, vote on next uh, on the 2020 fees, membership fees, and the second to the budget. I would like to propose to just change the 2020 incomes, uh, uh, um, modifying it to another um, proposal. That means that uh, uh, we could, in my opinion, uh, don't ask 300 euro per single vote per year, but let's say, uh, for instance, something less, because actually um, regarding the, the balance we have right now and the expenses, we, we just would like to ask you, my dear fellow Pirates Council members, um, we have, I think, enough money to cover this year and the next one. So, in my opinion, if we reduce the annual the annual membership fee right now, um, we won't be we won't die, and we will have the opportunity probably to get some other parties that are not officially dead, like Poland party or, for instance, uh, also Austrian pirate party that answer me that 300 euro is too much for 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 their actual situation and to just stay into this organization also for this year and probably for the next one so my proposal is just to change this budget proposal in uh, for the uh, uh, 2020 incomes and the fees due should be dramatically reduced for instance, let's say into something like 100, 100 or even 50 euro per single vote per year. That's my proposal. Thank you. Thank you, Alessandro. I just want to emphasize again that we did have presentations this morning. We're not looking for more presentations or reiterated presentations. Um, so it was unclear to me whether your proposal minimize the fees to 50 or 100 euro per vote and whether it was only for the year fiscal year of 2020 or onwards so um as the chair uh, i would like uh, for you to um clarify that so uh, the folks of the meeting and the delegates can ask questions um or comment on that concrete proposal sure i can sure clarify this um, as far as I know, um, in the statutes, we, I mean, the, the treasurer should um, make this proposal every year 
just collecting all the information from all the treasurers from the members and, and then make this proposal every year. So I think that we can make this decision every year. So my proposal right now is to do this for the in this year for the 2020 membership fee, not, and then next year, just let's say what, what we collect, what we have, what are the results in January, and then make a, a, another decision. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Um, it was a little bit spotty, the connection for me. I am not sure whether you are proposal for 50 or 100. Oh, sorry. Let's say that I propose 50 euro per vote this year. Then it is clear. I present to the delegates um, a proposal from the treasurer of the PPU. Uh, well, I guess from Alessandro Ciofino from the Italian Pirates um, uh, or from the treasurer of the board um, or all these hats. Um, the the Active 2020 be reduced to uh, 50 euros per vote. That means as a delegate, if you have more than one vote, you would then have to double, triple, etc. So uh, I see that I have Katla from the Icelandic Pirates would like to speak. So go ahead, uh, Katla. Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, oh, sorry, just a second. Isaac, you talk about hot. Um, okay, so I kind of, I'm sorry, my kid is playing in the same room. I agree with Alessandro to do this for this year, and I would just say I uh, support it being a 50 euro per vote for this year only. Um, I do think it's a little low um amount for those parties that are financially stable like the icelandic party and the czech and more um so just so we can finish this meeting today soon enough i would say for this year i'm okay with a 50 euro per vote um but next year i would like to see a more uh, kind of um a detailed proposal for you know a higher amount for financially stable parrot parties but today i'm only thinking that we have been at this for many many hours and and we we should maybe just go to bed or something thank you thank you katla um mikola from the czech pirates i have you next Please go ahead. Uh, two comments. I would like to solve the budget for 2021 in the upcoming council meeting, uh, which will take place uh, sometime in November, hopefully. Uh, even uh, based on some predictions, how much do we spend until the next, uh, the end of the this year between between the uh, November and the end of this this year? That's that's the first thing. Second thing. We directly need to start uh, doing sort of like crowdfunding. We don't do that. We just rely on on the fees from our members, and this is not a good way of financing. So we should really start as a party and start doing f uh, crowdfunding. Thank you, uh, Mikolaj. I have uh, no further requests for comments, questions or counter proposals. I also received word from a fellow board member that the wiki is updated. Inshallah, we will have a link. Thank you, Exile. In the, uh, currently you will see an, a link to the updated proposal in the wiki in the, you know, in the Mattermost town square as well. 
as in the chat of Jitsi. So please feel free to be acquainted, delegates. I'm giving you a first ping to get ready for voting. I do not see. Thank you, Excel. Uh, pardon, Oliver. I see the updated with an actual annual membership fee of 50 per year per vote. Unless there are objections, I will now proceed to vote. I am currently watching. Oh, I have one request to speak. If no one else would like to speak, there's, uh, I do not see, hang on, uh, the town square. Uh, perfect. So I do not see any Others than uh, Michael Sinclair of the Dutch uh, of the Dutch. I apologize of the German of the German pirates. I will give you the last word before we go to voting delegates. Please get ready, minute taker. Uh, please ensure that the pad is updated as well. So, Michael, please go ahead. As I have a, an easy version, it would be all the countries in the PPU who only have one vote. Uh, pay 50 or 100 euros i don't i'm not worried how much it is but it would be cheaper but every other party who has more than one vote uh, for every vote above this single vote uh, they pay the full price because we know they're a stable party and have people in parliament or they would not have a, a, a more vote thank you uh, michael uh, is this a counter proposal or a proposal that you would like to uh, add to the current proposal? Um, someone would have to yeah. back me, you know, on this. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, we will make the counter. I'm sorry, Alexander. Please, um, I would like you to respect that there's a waiting line. Currently, we both have Mikolaj, Alessandro, and now you in line to speak. Um, so, uh, Mikolaj from the Czech Pirates, you have the word, and after that, Alessandro from the Italian Pirates, and then Alexander from the German Pirates. So, please go ahead, Mikolaj. Uh, I'm sorry, Michael, but I think this uh, proposal is not compatible with the statutes. The statutes expect uh, each member to pay uh, an amount of money, which is base fee, multiplied by uh, amount of votes within the council and you can't change that uh, easily because that would require a statute change and this is something you have to announce at least uh, one month prior to the meeting so the only way how do we how we can actually now to deal with the uh, with the uh, membership fee is to change this base multiplicator there is there is no work around Thank you, Mikolaj, and for being sharp and concise, Alessandro from the Italian Pirates. May I ask the same? And then Alexander from the German Pirates, please be ready afterwards. But now, Alessandro, the, the floor is yours. Yes, Mikolaj already uh, said what I have to say, so I'm done. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Alexander from the German Pirates, please go. Uh, yes, thanks, uh, Mikolaj. Uh, I haven't proven that in the status, but I think you are right. Uh, but uh, we have also a discussion in the German delegation, and we think that 50 euros is too low. So I want to make the counter proposal that we go to 100 euros. So a counter proposal from the German pirates. Um, is uh, um, there's a wish please um, Oliver to unlock the page as that we have a counter proposal on our hands that the fee of the 2020 membership of the Pirate Party of Europe be changed to 100 per vote per year
Minute Ticker, can you confirm whether you have access to the wiki at this particular beautiful moment in time of the council meeting of the European Pirate Party? Confirmed. Is the counter proposal updated or is it the wish that the current proposal be updated to 100 or that we vote first on the counter proposal and then on the proposal? If I may, I may say a word. I, I, I would first uh, um, vote on the two proposals. And then, and then, uh, uh, after we know exactly the, uh, I mean, expected budget for uh, this incoming for for this year, we can vote on the on the whole. Uh, I will update the budget proposal, and we can vote on the budget proposal. With mute. So I suggest then, uh, or suggestion is then, that we first vote on the counter proposal, then the proposal, and then after that, the budget proposal. So membership fees of 100 per vote per year will be the first. The second vote will be membership fees annual for 2020 of 50 euros annually per vote. And at the end of that, once we have the results of those and can set the income, we will then have the budget proposal. Are there any objections, particular chairs, a solution to your voting on this motion? If so, uh, please state in town square, raise the hand or right in the chat of Jitsi. I will then consider that the way that we proceed accordingly, we will now vote on your visa being reduced to 100 euros per vote per year. Then we will proceed to vote on 50 if not passed and then we will uh, vote on the budget minute taker working your absolute hardest to update our pad to those of you that are not on the pad as of such i am hereby sending you in the town square channel as well as the chat of the jitsi the link to the pad delegates uh, please get ready to cast your votes i will start with the counter proposal of a hundred as it goes further than the 50 euros So, delegates, if you are ready, I will now commence the voting for the annual fees of the European Pirate Party 2020 be reduced to 100 euros per vote per year. Delegate of the Czech Republic, how do you vote? In favor. Czechs vote in favor, and that is a yes. Delegate of the French? Abstain. Pirate. Abstain. France. Delegate of the German Pirates, how do you vote? In, in favor, of course. In favor, with an of course, German Pirate Party votes in favor. Iceland, how do you vote? Yes. Iceland votes yes. Delegate of the Italian Pirates? No. I'm waiting for the minute taker 
Um, Italy votes no. Minute taker, can I please? Thank you. That's corrected then. The delegate of the Dutch Pirates, the Netherlands, how do you vote? Abstain. The Netherlands abstain. Norway, delegate of the Norwegian Pirates, how do you vote? No. Norway votes no. Catalonia, the delegate of the Catalonia Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Catalonia votes yes. Sweden. Swedish Pirates, how do you vote? No. Sweden votes no. The delegate of the members of the European Parliament, how do you vote? I'm looking to the delegate of the members of the European Parliament. As I said, abstain. Abstain. Can me? I can hear you now. Thank you. So, as chair, I will repeat back if I hear you. If not, I will uh, continue ping until I hear. So, thank you. The MEPs abstain. Now we will. Hmm. Now we will go to the vote of 50 euros. Yes. Now we will go to the vote of uh, minimizing the 2020 annual fees for the European Pirate Party to 50 euros per year per vote. And the delegate of the Czech Republic, how do you vote? In favor. In favor. Delegate of France, how do you abstain. vote? You abstain. Germany, how do you vote? Uh, against or abstain. <laughs> I would oh, need no. a clear answer, please. No. So the delegate no. of German pirates, how do you vote? No. Germany votes no. The delegate of the Icelandic Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Iceland votes yes. Delegate of the Italian Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Italy votes yes. Delegate of the Dutch Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Netherlands votes yes. The delegate of the Norwegian Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Norway votes yes. Catalonia, the delegate of the Catalan Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Catalonia votes yes. Delegate of the Swedish Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Sweden votes yes. And the de delegate of the members of the European Parliament, how do you vote? Abstain. Abstain. Thank you all. Thank you, delegates. Uh, I will take one minute with the minute taker <laughs> uh, as we calculate the results. <laughs> I will not apologize for my bad jokes or puns. They are all intended. Thank you also for your patience. I am well aware uh, 30 UTC 630 CET. It is quite late and it's been a long day. Minute taker. May I ask if the results are fully calculated at this point? They are. Uh, the problem is if they are correct. I'm kidding. All gestures of hands in the chat of Jitsi and all jokes, um, I will ask uh, that those wait until after um, we have finished this meeting. I, I, I really appreciate all of you, but I am also a chair on a mission, um, a flying chair. So 
The results are thus in, if I may, minute taker, to the fourth motion on annual membership fees. The votes are as follows. Out of 19 votes, the vote for 100 euros received 12 out of 19 votes, and the vote for 50 euros received 14 out of 19. I thus consider the uh, proposal and uh, motion to change the fees for the 2020 annual fees to the European Power Party to 50 euros per vote per year. So the 50 euro motion is passed. As chair and um, of this meeting and as a member of the Icelandic Pirate Party um, that both enjoys members of parliament and municipality representatives, I do encourage larger parties with wider representation to, um, to do what they can to support the European Pirate Party uh, above and beyond the currently uh, passed notion of 50 euros per vote. That said, we have one thing left, if my five tabs are correct, and that is to vote on the budget proposal, as you will find in the same link that I've posted in the town square, the link that I've also posted in the Jitsi um, <laughs> and donuts. Uh, I'm sorry. So, if anyone has any comments or questions as budget proposal, I ask you please uh, now. I'm not looking for further explanations or presentations of said proposal. I am however looking for any comment on said questions to the said proposal. So please use and on Jitsi, write in the chat of the Jitsi or in the town square channel of the Mattermost. As a pirate, I must admit I have never heard this many pirates from the this many countries come together and be this quiet. So I will then suggest to the meeting, to the delegates, that we proceed to vote on the budget proposal. Taker, may I ask you to prepare the vote in the pad? Yes, Chair, sorry, I was taking like a, a little shift in the wiki and then I polished everything up, okay, for you. For us, thank you. Thank you. Uh, delegates, please get ready if you do not have any questions or comments to the budget proposal. Um, I suggest that you get ready with all your beautiful votes. I do miss being in Perth with you and seeing a sea of white, reds and greens and yellows and what colours we've had before. So I will be calling delegates in the same order as we have before. I can see the minute taker has updated the pad and are ready in one second to vote. So I ask the people gets tired um pardon me i'm ready chair as i i absolutely and i am ready for you i had a slight disconnect with the pad 
um, it is not uh, as important for me to be able to see the pad of uh, as of now. So I will go ahead and ask the delegate of the Czech Republic. We are voting on uh, motion five, the budget proposal of 2020. How do you vote? I am sorry if the delegate of the Czech Pirates... In in favor, six votes. In favor, say, oh, thank you. So that is a yes, Czech. Thank you. I wasn't sure if we had connection difficulties. Delegates from the French Pirates, how do you vote? Yes, in favor. In favor. So that is a yes from France. German Pirate Delegate, how do you vote? In favor. A singing in favor from Germany. Uh, the delegate of the Icelandic Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Iceland votes to yes. Delegate of the Italian Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Italy votes yes. Netherlands, the uh, delegate of the Dutch Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Thank you, Netherlands votes yes. Delegate of the Norwegian Pirates, how do you vote? Yes. Norway votes yes. Catalan Pirates, Jorgit, please state your vote. Yes. Catalan Pirates vote yes. A Swedish Pirates, your delegate. Yes. Can you please you vote yes. Sweden votes yes. And the delegate of the members of the European Parliament, how do you vote? Abstain. Abstain. <laughs> 177. Um, I feel confident enough as chair at this moment in time to say uh, that I will reveal the results of the budget proposal. It was passed. The motion five was passed with 17 yes of 19 to abstain. <laughs> Thank you all for your questions. To the best of my knowledge, there is a one possible extra motion. It was put forth by the Norwegian pirates. I am trying to find the motion. Uh, is the chat of the Norwegian Pirates. May I ask you to, to come to the microphone about the last I did. So there's a motion which states if allowed by the statutes today, May 23rd, 2019. I'm I'm sorry, Ray, could you, may I ask you to speak to this motion? Uh, yes. Um, there is a, a progressive movement around the world, maybe as an answer to what we're seeing from the Trump world. Um, and um, Progressive International was just launched like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I would like to give the board the opportunity to look at whether or not we should uh, join them as almost 200 other organizations have in the last week. Um, it is not something that is binding. Uh, we will just, you know, give the board the chance to decide whether or not that's right for PPEU. Thank you. For a clarification, um, Ray, I see that you've written today, May 23rd, 2019. May I be as bold as to um, assume that you mean 2020, that this is not an older statement? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm slow. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's, I just, I don't want to assume. Assuming makes an ass out of me and an ass out of you. So I have one person asking 
uh, speak, and that is Go of the Italian Pirates. Please go ahead. I believe you're muted. The floor oh, is oh. yours. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, actually, I am a bit um, uh, in doubt about uh, the wording of the motion because <clears throat> as uh, I read uh, this, it seems like uh, the board has the... Uh, I mean, with this motion, the council is giving the board the task to investigate uh, if joining and then to act directly to join or not uh, this uh, progressive international uh, am i correct in this is uh, this uh, mm, but uh, yeah then i would isn't it a bit uh, not how can i say mm, maybe we should have a second review and uh, if we want to give uh, the board a mandate, should be to uh, to explore uh, a bit more the thing. But uh, I don't think that uh, we should uh, have a, a yes or no right now, and uh, not uh, uh, give the board the task to decide this. I think it's the council itself that should decide if uh, uh, joining or not this organization. Uh, Chair, may I answer? May I um, answer? So one second. Yes, I have. Uh, I have Sebastian also on the speaker list, but Ray, uh, I will allow an answer to Marco, and then Sebastian, you're up next. Uh, I made the suggestion uh, specifically, uh, number one, to signal that we trust the board to make the right decision, and uh, to act. Maybe that's a little bit too much, uh, and we should wait until the council gathers again in November to decide. Uh, but then the, prog uh, the progression is gone. Right now, uh, Progressives International are moving, uh, and I think it would be uh, a good idea to jump on the bandwagon, as some English people would call it. So. Uh, I guess you could you could vote no or vote yes, uh, but the most important signal is that it gives the board uh, the latitude to do uh, as they see fit. We have already voted in as members of the council. We trust them. You understand? Thank you, Ray. Uh, next is Bastian from the German Pirates. Please go ahead, Bastian. Yeah, thank you. Uh, maybe I'm too old to understand that uh, motion. Um, maybe can um, Raymond can clarify that. The PPU should uh, be a member of the Progress International or the individuals uh, named uh, Janis uh, and so on should be a member of uh, uh, PPU. But we have no individual members, so I quite confused thank you ray uh, would you like to answer bastian are you able to answer uh, well it's a little bit complicated but we're not saying that uh, progressive international will be a member of ppeu we're saying i'm trying to say with this motion uh that ppe you should join uh uh, progressive International, um, basically like signing a document uh, or, or co-signing uh, something. So I hope that answered the question. Thank you. And next, uh, I have Linda from the Norwegian Pirates. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, with all due respect to my uh, my colleague Ray, uh, this motion is new uh, to me. It has not been uh, brought up to the Pirate Party of Norway for um, review in any way. So this is um, not an official motion from the Pirate Party of Norway, but from Ray personally. Thank you. 
Yes, of course. Thank you, Linda. And next I have Mikolash. Uh, we have three remarks. Uh, first of all, uh, we have had last week quite nice discussion between the Board of PPEU and Board of Pirate Parties International. And one of the possible topics that were on the, the table was uh, PPEU joining Pirate Parties International. Of course, like Council is absolutely free to decide uh, which direction we should go. But I really like Pirate Parties International to, to express my feeling and I feel myself as a pirate. Uh, would I uh, like discuss joining any sort of like international organization, like the global one? Uh, also, like a lot of our members are actually all uh, same time members of PPI. Second remark I would like to make is that a uh, party of Yanis Varoufakis, that's uh, Mera25, is member of a pan-European movement called DM25. Uh, I really like like the people; they are they are nice. Uh, however, uh, yeah, it's pan-European organization as we are. And last but not least, uh, I would like to remind you that every time when we we have had a discussion about like sort of cooperation with. Uh, uh, Yanis Varoufakis personally, or his party in Greece, uh, the Greek pirates were not really happy about that idea. So I think uh, should we go in this direction, uh, it would be great if they had the opportunity to express their opinion uh, in the council. Thank you, Mikolas. And the next person I have is Katla from the Icelandic Pirates. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, at first, I wasn't so sure about this motion, but um, reading a little bit about what's happening here with this movement, I mean, I don't see any negativity in investigating, sort of, and checking if there's... Um, any will to kind of work with them or something. I can see that in September uh, there will be an uh, inaugural summit of the uh, Progressive International in Reykjavik in Iceland, hosted by the Prime Minister of Iceland and the Left Green Movement, which is frustrating because they are not progressive. They are very the opposite of being progressive. And it would, I don't know. I, 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 I okay. I wouldn't trust an international movement saying that they are progressive if they are just going to, you know, without any criticism, go into some sort of um, joint work with a very authoritarian party in Iceland, even though she's a, she's a nice lady and all that prime minister, but not progressive. So I think, I think I would like to investigate, you know, check it out. I've been in a lecture with um, Jane Sanders and I really like the democracy uh, movement that's you know the democracy in Europe movement and the Sanders Institute what they're trying to do I think maybe a little bit of pirate uh, punk could make it better so I I think I'm just gonna uh, uh, support Ray's proposal or motion thank you So the Icelandic Pirates are supporting the motion. Um, I have Marco on the list and I added myself. Bastian, I see that you still have your hand up. Is that a new hand? Or is that the hand from last time you spoke? No, no, uh, the system makes it automatically. If I want to speak, then I have a hand up. If I have spoken, then it's a down. So this is a new one. So I have Marco, Linda, Bastian. So Marco from the Italian Pirates, please go ahead. Yeah, so uh, since uh, 
this motion is not back backed by the Pirate Party of Norway, if I understood correctly. Uh, I would like to ask who is uh, proposing this motion right now to the Council. Who is proposing the motion? Ray, would you like to answer that question? Yeah. It's As the person that brought it forth? Yes. Uh, I am the one proposing it um, as a delegate <laughs> at this, this council meeting. Uh, it's an idea I had this afternoon, and, and I'm not really sure whether or not it's a good idea, hence why I formulated it in the way that it is, uh, leaving it up to the board to figure out whether or not this is a good idea. Um, now, I'm listening to everybody and, and hearing that uh, quite a few are negative to it. Um, so if the council meeting as a whole would like me to withdraw the proposition or the motion, I will. Yeah, but this doesn't, okay. Uh, I was like, uh... It was a technical question in the sense that uh, uh, the statutes say that only certain entities are allowed to propose motions. So I would like to ask you if you are proposing that as a delegate of the Pirate Party of Norway, but then Linda said that it's not a, a motion from the Pirate Party of Norway. So I am trying to under... Also, uh, Katla, I see that... Um, okay, so Katla has a personal support. But I would like to understand with that is form which entity is formally proposing this motion. Chair, would you like me to answer? Yes, I was just going to say if you could answer uh, short and sweet, then I have on the list, and then I will close it unless uh, someone comes forth now. So please, go ahead, Ray. Yeah. I apologize to the council meeting that I'm not uh, fluent in how uh, PPEU works. Uh, I also apologize to my uh, Norwegian colleagues uh, for just uh, landing this in their lap. And as I said, uh, if this is out of bounds, I will withdraw the proposition or motion uh, right away. Thank you. And next I have Linda. And after Linda, I have Bastian. After Bastian, I have David. And after David, I have Alessandro. But for the time being, Linda, the floor is yours. Please go ahead. Thank you, Chair. Um, I regret to inform you that I have to leave. I have another meeting now in four minutes. I can no longer attend. So I'll give my vote to William. And uh, thank you so much for, um, for letting me participate today. Thank you very much for your participation. If the minute taker could please note, and the Turlap is now uh, given the uh, vote of the Norwegian delegate over to William Svensson. Wait, did I get no? William it was Svensson. Svensson. Was it? Uh, thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, it was all of them. That's how it was. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, Linda. Thank you. And uh, your presence here. Um, so, is Linda, I have Bastian from the German Pirate Party next. Please go ahead, Bastian. Yeah, I wrote my question into the chat. Um, which member sponsors the motion? And first of all, we have to change the, the agenda to discuss new motions. Uh, we have this motion not on the agenda. And I think it's uh, uh, not the right way to uh, come with a, such a motion to, uh, to the end of an overdue uh, meeting. So let's take it uh, for the next meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Bastian. I have David uh, of the Czech Pirates, I believe. Yes. Uh, hi. I will be very short. Please uh, go ahead, David. We are, yeah, we are not going to be able to give a decision on such a short notice. At the same time, uh, we have already been talking about this project 
and uh, just to put it here i'm not really sure if it would not dilute the pirate brand and at the same time i have to say that it would be very problematic at least in czech republic uh, and while we support work in varufakis in many areas uh, his name is very much toxic around here so we have these objections now but i will be able to say more in two weeks at least thank you david and the last person on this matter is alessandro please go ahead from the italian pirates yeah just two seconds to say that um i'm always in favor of discussions uh, and, and little in favor of voting but uh, it, uh, in my opinion it would be uh, um, I mean, not necessary to, to vote on it, but if uh, this, um, I mean, the, the only thing we can, we should vote right now, if, if we want to change the agenda to include this motion on vote or not. And if we don't want, uh, we, 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 we will postpone it to the next meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so the person that brought forth the motion, would you like to either that we procedurally uh, vote to add the motion at this point or? Uh, no, based on the feedback. Ray, that I'm getting, can yeah, you hear? The, yes, can you hear me? Uh, based on the feedback from several of the council members, I withdraw the motion, uh, thus making it unnecessary to uh, have a procedural motion, if that makes sense. Uh, I thank you all. Uh, I'm sorry that I brought it up this late. Thank you. So um, it is my then pleasure as a chair to say that there will not be a procedural motion of adding this and and vote on as it is see 25 beautiful pirates in in this jitsi meeting and i do believe that i can say at this point and please um correct me if i'm wrong but the last point is in fact my pleasure of closing the meeting and planning the next meeting. So that sure. is the last point. Chair, sure. Chair, sure. sorry. Yes, before, take her. Yes. Before Please everybody, go ahead. Thank you, Chair, sorry. Before everybody is leaving, could you please just uh, release all your cams so I can take a snapshot of all of you? for the records, then then whatever it happens, I don't care. But yes, please, all your on, please. I, it's a, a little favor. Oh, great, it's amazing. It's amazing. More camps, more camps. I'm <laughs> more the hair. Flori is in the garden, more camps. I need Bastian camps, Ray camps, and then G more camps. More family more. photo. More, yes, more, more camps. We are already set. I need five camps more. Five camps more. Yes, yes. It's just like a picture, you know. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, you did it. You did it, chair. I, I, I heard you. You did it. You did it. It didn't work, unfortunately. All of the pictures removed. It didn't work. My my work, I will share you. I have a lot of pictures here. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Fantastic. It's amazing. Absolutely. Then I would like to take, take the word back as chair and say thank you all for a very long and very productive day of meetings. I hope that you all enjoy a very good evening. I am very proud um, of the progress that we've made today, not just in terms of this meeting, but also uh, in terms of how these meetings are held. I do believe that they are much more healthy and productive than they were four or five years ago. 
So this is added to our growth and development. Uh, we are closing the meeting now. Of course, people can stay on and chat if they if they want. But the meeting is closed, and we will uh, be in touch with you, dear council, uh, for arranging our next council meeting no later than November of this year. Inshallah, it will be in person. And until then, I'm closing the meeting. Please stay safe, and thank you so much for a wonderful day together. I'm also going to say thank you and goodbye and